Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to K Wings Let's Plays, and today is a very special look at Inspector Gadget, which came out today. Yay! Or was it yesterday? I don't remember. If it came out yesterday, we missed it. So this is a one-time stream because this is not uh, what we were thinking it was going to be. It's not an Ace Attorney. It's not a um, Professor Layton game. Yes. It is a Mario Party. Oh my gosh, that's kind of weird. You would think this would be a detective game. But it does say Mad Time Party Inspector Gadget. Hmm. So, it is. Um, also, guys, you are currently, if you're wondering about Pokemon stream, you are very close to getting your stream today. You are currently at 980 views. That means you need <clears throat> 20 more views in order to unlock the 830 stream. So you've got almost four hours <laughs> to get those views up. And uh, we will gladly stream uh, the next episode. We even added it to the newsletter, and we have it scheduled. So, um, But it's up to you guys to make that happen. So after this stream, go show uh, Pokemon uh, Episode 3 of the live stream. The one with, like, two hours and something. Uh, some love and be good to go. So this game is voice acted by uh, impersonators of the original 87 oh, actors. Oh, wow, okay. It's not the original cast. They're sound-alikes. They're pretty decent, from what I've heard. And this is based on the 84 cartoon show, which I believe Inspector Gadget was 1984. Cool. Yeah, I know. Another cool thing from the year Amber graced oh, us with I don't present. like saying the year I was born. Sorry. Yes, the year that my uh, great-grandmother was born, 1984. Okay. Wow. All right, all and right. that you're so special to me because my grandmother was born then. Island was really amazing. Yes, and that flying nap room with a view of the clouds was exceptional. But it was the plane, Uncle Gadget. <laughs> oh, I have a ringing in my ears. Mm, isn't that your secret gadget phone, Uncle Gadget? Oh, uh, that's right, my little penny. Is that you, Chief? Where are you, Chief? Gadget, you're finally back from vacation. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. The situation is serious. The city is in the hands of man. Meet me immediately on the roof of Professor von Slechstein's city laboratory. I'll be waiting for you there with the professor, and we'll explain it all to you. Right away, Chief. I'm coming, Chief. Oh, quickly, Uncle Gadget. It sounds urgent. I've marked the location of the building on your map. I'll meet you there as soon as possible. Okay, so this is Metro City, and um, the game goes between third-person action game and then into mini-games. Cool, that, and is... That's the premise. Can I play... May I play two, or is it just one person? Um, I don't know if it's... I that's have okay. your controller plugged in over there if you want to grab it. Uh, I can grab it. And then we can find out for ourselves. But we can take turns if you want playing the mini-games if it isn't. Game start. Go, go, gadget, controller. Hmm. Move the arrow to move around. Ooh, this has some frame rate issues already. A little bit of sputtering there. So, not even a, a mm, very smooth 30 frames per second, at least on the Switch. This game is available on PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam if you guys are looking for it. And it's about... Uh, $49.99, but there is a sale right now on Nintendo Switch for $35 if you wanted to, you know, consider picking it up. What's oh. this, Chief? Mm. And uh, if you guys didn't know, Maxwell Smart was the original voice of Inspector Gadget until the time of his death. So he played Inspector Gadget from all the way through the 1980s until the early 2000s. And he loved the role. In fact, he loved the role of Inspector Gadget more than Maxwell Smart from Get Smart. Wow. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep, he enjoyed it. Well, that wasn't a, a famous role, though. Inspector Gadget wasn't more famous than Maxwell Smart? Really? So, you think more people know about Inspector Gadget? 
Inspector Gadget was national. Inspector Gadget lasted for 30 it was, years. It was a really popular cartoon show? Well, the first cartoon show only lasted for like three years, but then Inspector Gadget came back with different spin-offs in the 90s. He also had an educational show on PBS. Wow. With Inspector Gadget. Wow, that's really interesting, Luke. I didn't... I didn't know all that either. I didn't really know, like, anything. I know Maxwell Smart. I know Get Smart. 99. Yep. But... The mini-map lets you find where you are. They actually tried, Hollywood tried to bring Get Smart back with um, Steve Carell. And, oh, uh, like the show? No, they did a movie. Oh, right. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. And The, the Rock was in it and stuff. This uh, is a map of Metro City. That... Look at the legend easily to locate important things on your map. Penny, air vents, points of interest, gadget positions, accessible routes. That was a fun movie. It was a fun movie. I wanted a sequel, but we never got it. Yeah. Look at these legend to easily locate important things on your map. Look for the objective with the exclamation mark. Okay. Select. Uh, oh, it wants me to go here. I don't even know who Car is. Car is this car. Brain is the dog. Brain is the dog. That's right. Yep. I actually remember that, Luke. Mm-hmm. Woof. Brain just has a really bad wolf. So did you have to look up the names of the characters, or did you re actually remember them? I actually oh, remembered cool. them. I watched wow. the original Inspector Gadget. I would get the original Inspector Gadget and add it to our, our cartoon DVD collection, but it never really crossed my mind because I didn't watch Inspector Gadget that much. Like, I re it was on TV, and I would watch it occasionally. Go, go, Gadget oh, Skates! No. Yeah, the frame rates are going to be a problem in this game. You can see how slow it's running. Sorry, critic. Go, go, gadget, rocket skates. All right, so they have like a little bit of a free roaming environment you can explore a little bit, but there's it's empty. There's really not much going on here. Join the professor in the city. Can I take out Go Go Gadget Copter whenever I want? Oh, later Gator says Penny and Brain are the best. Mm-hmm. I also remember they Disney bought the film rights to Inspector Gadget and had um, what's his name, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off actor play Inspector Gadget for one movie, and then they got one of your favorite actors to play Inspector Gadget in the sequel, the guy from Third Rock from the Sun. Mm. Incoming message from the big giant head. <laughs> oh yeah, he is my favorite character from uh, Third Rock from the Sun. Yep, so a lot of people... The guy with his eyes closed. Yep, a lot of people say even though Matthew... Or whatever his name was. Uh, is it Matthew Broderick? Yeah, Matthew Broderick. Okay, even though Matthew Broderick um, had a better movie in Inspector Gadget, they're saying that the guy from Third Rock of the Sun had a better Inspector Gadget. Like, he was a better live-action gadget. Interesting. Even though the other guy had a better movie and better graphics, the, the other guy the was The other actor played... It. Yeah, he was more accurate to Inspector Gadget. Yeah, that is... How did you know? How did you remember that? That was my favorite character from Third Rock. From you, the when we had cable, you always used to watch that show in reruns. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You enjoyed Harry. <laughs> Harry's antics. You did. Yeah, I do like that guy. He's Use really the funny. air vents to let uh, get up to the top of the city rooftops. You'll find Let's several see. of them in Metro City. Harry, Sally was the huge lady who was very, like, curvy. Yep. And, Dick. And, yeah, Dick was Mary! the, the yeah, leader, and then Mary was the lady that she, What that was he the liked. name of the, the... And the little kid was played by... <sighs> famous yeah. voice... Famous actor today. Yeah. Um... It's not Shia LaBeouf. I don't know. He's very... He was about to be the next Robin in the Batman... Um, he was about to be Robin or Nightwing in the... In the... His first... Batman Begins. His first name is after a famous Bible character. Oh. Really? Jacob. I don't know. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Okay. Oh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Okay, I didn't get that. Okay. You you win Trivial Pursuit today, Luke. I win Trivial Pursuit. All right, let's continue the story. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -uh. 
Here you are at last, Gadget. We have a new mission for you. As I told you, the city is in the hands of man, and there's nothing we can do about it. We believe the, <laughs> the only way mad. to stop this is to use Professor von Slickstein's time machine and stop Dr. Claw and the mad agents before they take over the city. Come on, I'll explain how it works. You see this big red button? You really mustn't. Are you okay, Uncle Gadget? Er, what happened, Professor? Hmm, interesting. It looks like the machine threw Gadget's ancestors out of time. Unfortunately, the machine is broken. I'll need all the parts that got scattered around so I can fix it and send all those gadgets home. But time is running out, because having so many gadgets in the same timeline is risky and could cause a temporal disaster. Do you understand, Gadget? That gives me an idea. You're not going alone, Gadget. All your ancestors are going to help you get all the bolts of the machine and release the city from Mad's clutches. But what a great idea. Let's go together. Oh, let's have a competition like back in my day. Whoever brings the professor the most bolts wins the games. Oh, well, excellent idea. Here we go. Inspector Gadget is always ready. And when duty calls, I go. Do you think they'll make it? We'll see. In any case, this is all very interesting. I could study the gadget's skills at different times to see if that affects their abilities. Okay, so Gadget is hanging out with his ancestors. Already a pretty fun voice is in this game. Yeah, it's not the... The guy is doing a pretty good impression of Inspector Gadget from the 80s, but it, of course it's not. I believe his name was... Um, what was his name? Was it... Uh, is it Don Adams who was? Um, oh. Who played guy. Who played Maxwell Smart? Was it Was it Don Adams or is, am I thinking of somebody else? Uh, go go gadget rocket skates. Isn't the music to the Get Smart series like da 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 da? -da, -da? Wait, no, that's no. something else. That's something else. That's another pop show. No, no. Wait, well, okay. the, the Get Smart music. Da, 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 yeah, that's, da, that's how it is. Yeah, that's da, 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 Dun dun. But I would say the Inspector Gadget theme is is more uh more memorable than even people who didn't watch Inspector Gadget. Like the theme is just like really catchy. Da 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 dun. Inspector Gadget. Dun da 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 dun dun dun. Ba da da dun. Inspector Gadget. Dun da 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 da. Bum bum. It's like basically like a thirty second jingle, but then it has other parts to it. Dun dun da 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 da. Go, Gadget, go. Yeah, you're right. Don Adams, <laughs> Maxwell Smart. Yes! My TV trivia is epic. <laughs> two points for Liv today. Gamer gets a zero. Well, I mean, there were two famous um, actors that lived around the same time that both played bumbling police officers. I'm giving... Don Knotts from the Andy Griffith show. Yeah. And Don <laughs> Adams, who played <laughs> Maxwell Smart. <laughs> Missed it by that much. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I saw a, a random episode on YouTube because I was, I don't know why, but I just ended up watching The Love Boat. Mm. And Don Knotts, if you guys don't know who he is. <laughs> Don Knotts? Oh, he has wait. this weird way oh. of talking and he's like well, very... Well, go! Yeah, he talks like that. He's a very lanky yeah. guy with like these, kind of his eyes bulge out like really funny. Mm -hmm. In a funny way, he's like, gosh! Like, I know, it's like very funny oh, person. Gosh, Andy! And, I like, think, think so he was on an episode of The Love Boat from, like, the 80s or the something. The Love Boat. And this woman who is, like, mm -hmm. 
She looks like an Amazonian woman who's like almost seven feet tall, extremely curvy. Like when she walks into the room, everyone looks at her. Go, go, gadget, skates. Exactly, like really long hair and stuff. And she was looking for a man that she was in love with. And she ends up falling in love with Don Knotts on this thing. And you do not think that they're going to end up together, but they do at the end. Well, I mean, it's like a, what was it, a 40 minute show or was it a 30 minute show? I don't know, like 40 minutes. It's pretty long. Go, go, gadget, mini games. But anyways. Yeah, now I'm saying how old I am, but good job, guys and gals, guessing all the Bible character names. We had Ruth, Moses, um, oh, Matthew. Good job, guys, guessing <laughs> what it would be. Now, just so you know, in the show, um, Inspector Gadget was kind of like a bumbling idiot like the Pink Panthers, um, yes. you know. Inspector or Clouseau Magoo. or Mr. Magoo. It was actually Penny and Brain. Yeah, the Who dog would, and the girl. Yeah, Penny and Brain were the real brains behind the show, and Inspector Gadget was like the bumbling idiot savant. But he, he was a lovable idiot savant. Yeah, and he never knew that he didn't actually figure it out. He always thought he did it, but in right. reality it was Penny. That, in reality it was Penny and, and Brain. Dog. Yep. Yeah, also um, BJ Williams was saying, Amber, is it true that Gordon Lovett was going to be Nightwing? I thought they were going to set him up to be Nightwing. Um, They thought about it. That's what but I heard. What that... they did, what they did, is they ended up calling him Robin. Yes. In the show, and um, at one point they actually lifted. He's supposed to be Dick Grayson, because they lifted the story arc where Dick Grayson was a police officer from Bloodhaven. In fact, oh yes, yeah. so that's one why of, they made him a police officer. In one of the storyboards for The Dark Knight Rises, they actually talk about that the officer that Gor Joseph. Joseph Gordon-Levitt was playing was a transfer from Bloodhaven. Right, so they were they were starting to write it in that he was going to be go, Nightwing. Go, go, gadget, copter! So yeah, it is true, BJ Williams, he was going to be Nightwing, or at some point they were thinking about it. Right, but they cut out his, uh, his transfer stuff, because he was supposed to be a new rookie cop from Bloodhaven. Because oh. they were basing that police officer off of Dick Grayson, who was a police officer from... The Chuck Dixon run of uh, DC Comics. Mm, I love the love boat, says Cassie. The love boat. I like it too. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. I've not seen an episode of the love boat I didn't like. It's an interesting show. <laughs> it's very corny. It's, go go gadget rockets. It's a very corny. Oh, darn. It is a very corny show that had a lot of like actors that were either like has-beens or. <laughs> <laughs> of people coming into or off of their career. That's very harsh, Amber. <laughs> so people that are young and upcoming actors were on the love boat, or people that were kind of had already had their career and they didn't, they needed a job. Points of were, interest. Uh, yeah. Very well, Chief. I will go to these points of interest. So what I'm uh, noticing is Go Go Gadget Copter can only be utilized at certain points. So, like, the only thing that I can do is use Go Go Gadget Skates right now, but I can't call on the copter whenever I want. Uh, like, the copter is only every once in a while. More garbage. There's Chief inside of the trash uh, can! Oh, wow. So How is he in there? If you, oh, if it's you kind of like know, Get Well Smart. Or it's it like, is. It's there like are a, references to Get Smart in Inspector Gadget yeah. because of Don Adams. He's the guy who was in the tree all the time. Or this is a reference to the guy from Get Smart that was in yep. the different... Um, the chief? Like under a, a subway crate and all this weird stuff. The chief would go inside garage or garbage cans in the show. He would hide in trees. He would do kind of like that... Agent um, from Get Smart. I forgot the name of the agent's name, but he was always hiding in these oh. weird places. So the show actually brought a lot of ideas from Get Smart, but they changed it up a little bit because you actually had a signature villain. The claw. Yeah. I'll get you, Gadget. What's going on, Chief? Hmm. Chief. Okay, so how do I make the dialogue go? Are you being followed? No, Chief. I don't think we so. need to find a way of increasing the audio. Um. Have infiltrated our ranks, and with all the no, no, in game. Is in charge, I can't. Don't have right, I'm saying the audio balance is messed up. We need to find a way of messing with the volume in game. 
Not our streaming equipment. That's your mission. Your mission is to sort the documents. Stop. It's a, this guy. Honest Agent 13 is must be recognized and their papers stamped. Stop. <laughs> Don't stamp the papers of undercover mad agents. Stop. Check as many documents as possible. Stop. This message will self-destruct. Oh no. Always ready to serve you better. <laughs> Give me a stamp and I'll take care of you. Gadget. <laughs> He said it will self destruct and then he put it in the can. These are all references to Get Smart. Oh my gosh. So I was just looking up. It's Agent 13 in the Get Smart uh, TV show. So can you hit a button and play? Like it says player one um, and it know. says AI, AI, AI. What yeah. happens if you come in the game? Do, do you become it's one of the allowing, AI characters? I think we have to set up my controller. My controller isn't allowing me to get in. Um, I, tr I'm oh, I was, I was going to say try to hit L and R. I am. I've been doing oh. that for almost oh, the last okay. hour. Okay, all, right. all right. I would have to actually, you'd have to do the Wii menu and then get me in. No. You know, the Nintendo Switch menu? Okay. What are... Oh, we have to cycle through the bad guys and then the good guys? Okay. Okay, now I understand how this minigame works. Oh. Lost to one of my ancestors! Actually, the gameplay footage I've seen from this, that pirate guy, that AI pirate guy always wins. Because I saw some it's gameplay footage be... of this a few days ago. Minigame. Yeah, Luke, um, if you want, all you have to do is press the Wii uh, Switch Home menu. And then you can yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna put my controller out, it. it didn't filter the right people, and it all needs to be done again. Alright, first let's see if we can mess with the audio. Voice volume. The music's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, bless you. Um, let's go with this. Overall things. Uh, this controls. So now we have the voice audio up. So people should be able to hear a little bit more clearer now. Okay. Um, yep, that's good. Controls. Yeah, Joshua says Don Knotts was in a was very funny and was in a lot of funny movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember Don Knotts was in uh, well a lot of different movies, but I remember him in this movie that I watched as a kid called The Apple Dumpling Gang. Yep. And he and this other guy played these bumbling like kind of robbers that kind of wanted to blow up this bank, but they got thwarted by a gang of children. <laughs> mm, ingenious disguise. Oh, that was funny. Are you being followed? No, Chief. I don't think so. Mad agents have infiltrated our ranks. And with all the commotion now that Dr. Claw is in charge, we don't have enough people we can trust to sort them out. That's your mission. Your mission is to sort the documents. Stop. Honest citizens must be recognized and their papers stamped. Stop. Don't stamp the papers of undercover mad agents. Stop. Check as many documents as possible. Stop. This message will self-destruct. Always ready to serve you better, Chief. Give me a stamp, and I'll take care of it right <laughs> now. <laughs> I'll try to do this again so that we can try to get you in. Yeah, I've been trying to explain, like, I haven't been able to connect my controller since the beginning of this stream. Okay. So we'd have to go to the connect controller thing on the Switch. Oh. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna try to hit L or R. I am. I don't think it's two player. 
I I hit it. I know you did. I I don't think this. What does the game say online? Does it say it's two player? That would be a pretty bad thing if it's not two player. Because your controller is connected. Oops. sense that it's not too clear. Maybe I have to go into some other settings, like before going into the main game or something. Well, of course the battery's low. Yahoo! Yep, thank you, Sweepy. So he's still not coming out of his room. Hmm. It's gonna take time for him to adjust, I guess. Inspector Gadget. Um... Inspector Gadget, mad party. Mad party. That's right. Always. Well done, Inspector. I'm impressed. Thanks to you, we were able to unmask the infiltrators and stop them from doing any harm. Here, we found this part of the machine. It could be useful to you. So you have to complete the mini games in order to continue the story. If the AI wins, then it doesn't count. Interesting. It says this is a game. It says it's a game that's multiplayer. For I thought it said one. Yeah, one to four players. That's very interesting. Well, let's exit out of the game and see if this, we can do something at the main menu. This game is on PlayStation Five, PlayStation mm -hmm. Four, Nintendo Switch, PC. Coming soon to Xbox One and Xbox Series S and X. Hmm. It will so... launch a retail physical version on October 17th. It's only available digital right now. Why did it not let two players... Maybe the challenge mode it allows for multiple players? Hmm. Choose. It says choose four mini games that will follow each randomly. Where is it? Arcade. Arcade? Oh, so you can't play in the main story then? I don't think so. No, you can play here though. So let's play some mini games and then we'll go back to the story. Wow, what is going on with this? This software uses a single Joy-Con. That's why, Amber. We'd have to take out the Joy-Con controllers. Okay. Okay, we're going to show you guys some uh, local multiplayer and then continue the story. So, yeah, in order for both people to play, you have to use a Joy-Con. Two Joy-Cons. So it's one of those. I actually don't know which one I put it on. There. There you go. Okay, so let's check out some of these mini games, and then we'll go back to the story. Alright, then I'll just... So how does the other player come in then? Oops. Uh, well, that's weird. Yeah, go to arcade. I'm not moving it. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, are you able to select the character? Setting up players minus. Join. Setting up players minus. Okay. Setting up players. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Why would it not be able to join It then? says you can join by hitting over on the one of oh. these buttons. Okay, now you I'm in? I'm okay, now you're in. Okay. Be the you want to be the Viking, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm having some Joy-Con drift issues. Whoops. Whoa. Sorry. I, I am Inspector Gadget, ready to use. I guess. Sorry, I guess I, I didn't do it correctly. You got Joy-Con drift going. Oh, I got Joy-Con drift bad. Maybe we could set up the players again, and you can just let it. Not how, how do I? How do I? Minus again, and we'll try it again. Okay. Okay. So what do I think? Your Joy-Con drift is gone now. It's still drifting. How do I start? S and L. There's two ones up here. There's two tiny ones. Yeah. Well, let me start. Huh. It's not letting you press those yeah, unless, at the same time? Unless... You, it says you're ready. It says I'm not. Just press on... Did you already press A? 
SNL. Want me to do it? Oops. Yeah. Oh, get get oh me get me started on that because this is this is kind of confusing for me. It's not really working out well for me. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Joy-Con drift aside. Wow. This is very drifty. This is super drifty. Yeah. Well, I think you're gonna lose because. Oh, I don't care. I'm just want to show multiplayer with you. Yeah, this isn't working. Your Joy-Con isn't working. Weird. That is so weird. So, S Your Joy-Con isn't working. Mine is working fine. Hmm. Maybe okay. it broke somehow. Look at mine works. Oh. Yeah, I'm seeing that. So mine doesn't work. Your Joy-Con doesn't work. That's supposed to be... Well, let me... Let me see if I can fix it. Huh? What do you mean you have something that might fix it? Why wouldn't they just let me, like, hit plus? Oh, here we go. Well, maybe you can, like, put this on it, and maybe it will fix it. Let's see if this will work. Oh. Man, this is... Well, I guess we can't show this off today. Maybe we'll have to get new Joy-Cons, but our Joy-Cons are working fine. I don't really I mean, the mini-games for AI work fine. Whoops. Yeah, it doesn't work, honey. Literally. So what we'll do is we'll swap. We'll do mini games. We'll like swap off because it's well, it doesn't work. All right. So I guess I'll just use my Joy-Con then. So we can just push minus. Oh wait, it's not even. You don't even have connected right oh. now. It's stuck. It's not stuck. Oh. Okay. Maybe we should do. Ooh, Ow. I think you put it on the wrong way. I don't think so. I mean, it wouldn't have gotten stuck like that if it was the right way. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, press the button. Try to select Inspector Gadget, and then it's any button. Doesn't matter what Inspector Gadget. Yeah, there's something wrong with the Joy-Con. It doesn't work. Okay, well, unfortunately well, we can't show you guys two-player because the Joy-Con is busted. We won't do two-player today. That's stupid. Yeah, the Joy-Con doesn't work. We can try to swap out Joy-Cons. If, if the stream does really well, we'll show another one of these, but... Maybe I'll have to order you some new Joy-Cons then. I guess so. I mean, We're going back to the story then. So, you have to go into multiplayer mode in order to... Uh, I could use... I could try the, one of those over there. One of those pink ones. Mm, not or... get... How did you get this off once you got it on? Mm -hmm. I just hurt my hand doing it. Well, that's not good. Ugh, ouch. That was painful. That was painful. That's a bummer. I wanted to play with you. There's a red Joy-Con over there. You want me to try that? We have a red Joy-Con? Isn't that the busted one? Wait, it's not charged, though. They have to be charged in order to work, remember? Let's just do one player. Yeah, we'll do one player right. and we'll, we'll switch off. All right, we tried. We tried. Now how do we get back? How do we get back is uh, you have to hit home, and we're gonna have to start the whole thing over again. Yep, we're gonna have to exit completely out of it. I don't, okay. There you go. Okay. And then if you could put yeah. the Joy-Cons, wait, is this, this is the bad controller. Where's the good controller? No, they're both bad. Mine is even worse battery. Really? There you go. Okay. Both Joy-Cons have to be put back in the system because it's going to recognize it as like... Uh... Okay. Well, where's your Joy-Con? Right there. Oof. Sorry about that, gang. We'll continue the story now. We were trying to show two-player, but our Joy-Con not only had Joy-Con drift problems, but also the little buttons on the top are busted. I guess it's time to get some new Joy-Cons. That's disappointing. Well, can't win them all, folks. It's busted. Story continues. <laughs> we were gonna show you two player, but we missed it by that much. Uh, <laughs> game was like two player. Nope. <laughs> yep. This game automatically saves as you play. Yep. All right, here we go. Back to the story. Go, Gadget, go. 
<laughs> go, go, Gadget Joy-Con. It's busted, <laughs> Chief. <laughs> yeah, doesn't he, like, complain about stuff like, uh, confound it? <laughs> it's not working, Brain. Brain looks at it, gets it to work. How did you do that, Brain? <laughs> ruff, ruff. Yeah, exactly. The, the fact that... And not only the small girl is smarter than him, but also the dog is. <laughs> yeah, but he had... I believe he had a hand in the creative process for Inspector Gadget. You'd have to really look into... Um, hey, yeah. you there. This the area is Don, off limits. Don Adams, Don yeah. Adams. You'd have to really look into the Don Adams stuff to see what it was about. Yeah. So, Amber and I are going to take turns playing the minigames. Uh... I'll, I'll handle Inspector Gadget's uh, navigation, and then Amber will uh, tackle the minigames for us. <laughs> That's how we're going to do this. Because yeah. Yeah, she you... likes minigames! I'm glad you found that funny, Gio. They have his run from the cartoon show. <laughs> That's how he ran. Go, go, Gadget. Awkward Stop run. Stop in the name of the law! <laughs> oh my gosh, this show is funny. It's making me laugh already, and I'm not even watching the show. I'm just doing a terrible impression. It says the voice volume is all the way up, but you wow. still can't hear him. It's crazy. Yeah. Maybe overall volume I goes up. I feel like the the volume mix on this was a little weird. I mean, it's a this is a game for. I know. I don't know what this is a game for because go, who go would ahead. remember <laughs> yeah. 1980s? Yeah. <laughs> did you know they actually had a go, go Inspector go Gadget, Gadget that was made for more modern audiences, and they make him thinner? Oh wow! Like 1980s Inspector Gadget actually was like a a more like normal type of body type. Yeah. And the the new show that they had come out about 10 years ago, they made him thin and lanky and like healthy looking. So it's oh, like wow. actually the 80s Inspector Gadget was would be more in time with the 2020s. Yeah, because than, everything's than about the not, not body shaming. People right. Yeah. And appreciating people just for how they are. So Inspector Gadget's original design would have been more fitting for today's wackos. Oh, yeah, there he is. Like, he puts his arms on his um, hips. Yeah, this is 80s Inspector Gadget. You can tell by the trench coat. The the recent show, he had a different colored trench coat and he had different slacks. This is the Inspector Gadget from the 1980 show. Wow. The original is always the best. Wow, I bet a lot of, go, like, go, older Gadget people would Hunter. not know that Inspector Gadget is the same voice as the guy who played Maxwell Smart. Um, some people did. knew. He had a very distinguished go, go, voice. Gadget roller skates. Like, Interesting. He actually, I mean, Don Adams, people always thought, oh, uh, Maxwell Smart is a character. It's like, no, the lines that Don Adams spoke was the character. So, did he talk somewhat like that in real life? Yes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he sounded like Inspector Gadget and Don uh, and um, Maxwell Smart all the time because that oh, was his wow. voice. That yeah. was kind of his voice. Oh yeah. wow! It was, it so was he very probably just over exaggerated his own voice. He over exaggerated and he had lines. Oh, interesting. He had like what we would call one-liners or zingers or something like that. What well, people would call memes. He had one-liners. Some people just have a cool voice naturally. Let's talk to Penny! Yeah, nobody really speaks like this normally. <laughs> Can I get one burger, please? <laughs> what will you have, Penny? <laughs> Penny will have the cheeseburger, and does that come with a toy? I don't remember I what... I see. I don't know what Penny sounded like at Penny all. just was a very excitable and... I don't remember. Well, we'll see. Maybe the... Penny, what are you doing here? Uh, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. And I found a mad trap. They're bombs, so we need to defuse them quickly before they explode. All right, Penny. Stand back, because this is an extremely dangerous mission. I'll handle He sounds very similar to the original guy. Like, Interesting. He sounds very similar to Don Adams. This guy is a pretty good impersonator. <laughs> he is. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Yeah, actually, that does sound kind of like Penny. It's mini game time. No, you don't have to let me do it. Look, can you hold my tea? Don't spill the tea, <laughs> Amber. Hold my tea. Let's go for this. Diffuse the bomb by cutting the wires with the gadget scissors. Be careful not to set the bomb off by cutting the wrong wire. Oh, no. Oh, this does look like Mario Party because they show you here yep. and then you do it. Go, go, gadget, bomb disarmal. Disarming. Disarmament, yeah. Disarmament. <laughs> Disarmament. Yeah. 
Well, oh, you gosh. could make up like a, a machine that disarms bomb bombs. Yeah. Disarm bomb thing. The Pokemon stream is currently at 989 views. It's getting close, gang. What? Oh my gosh, what do I do? It it'll show your Well this guy is doing now it. Now it's the green guy. Oh I see. So, so I get the, the last turn. Yep, you get the last turn, and hopefully you don't blow everybody up. The one who blows people up loses. Oh my gosh. How can you tell which wire is You're it? blue. Okay. You have to I... pick whatever wire you think it is. Isn't. Um, Time is running I'm out. Gonna go with... It's like hot potato, but with a bomb. I'm going to go with this wire. Okay. All right, so this is kind of fun. Oh man, once we start Joy Con Pokemon, this will be a lot of fun to play in two player. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Although, if we would have bought this on PlayStation, then it would have worked right away. Oof. Yeah. Do you know how much this retails for? Or... Uh, $49.99 on Nintendo Switch, it's $35. Oh wow, okay, so it's a little less on Switch then. Yeah, they have it on sale. Maybe because the, the things don't work. Yeah. Well, Ooh. I don't know. There are three of you left. Which one will be the unlucky sap? Mm. Oh, this guy is doing Now, in order to progress the story, no pressure, but you have to, um... You have to win oh against your gosh. AI counterparts. This is all by chance, though. Last round! Good luck, uh, Amber. I died. You lost! The Viking has won! Nope, mm -hmm. you gotta try again. I have to try it again? Oh yep. no. You have to win the minigame in order to... The pirate one didn't win this time. No, I don't even see the pirate guy there this time. You have other inspector gadgets. Yeah. <laughs> so little Link still hasn't come out of his room. Yay! And he still hasn't eaten yet either. I'm getting really concerned. So you have a few different options of things to try to feed him to different. Oh brands. dear, Uncle Gadget! All the bombs exploded. Thank goodness what? you're not hurt. Let's stay alert because there must be more. Yeah, you got to talk to her again. Oh, you have great. to. You have to survive. Penny, what are you doing mm. here? Uh, I just wanted to make sure you were okay, and I found a mad trap. They're bombs, so we need to defuse them quickly before they explode. All right, Penny. Stand back, because this is an extremely dangerous mission. I'll handle it. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Excellent job, gang. 140 likes is your next goal. Go, go, Gadget, like goal. This is a lot of chance. It's a lot of chance, but you can do it, Amber. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> go, go, Gadget, mini game. <laughs> oh, there's no way to know which one Round this is. Round one. Cut the wire. Da, 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 oh, you're da, first this time. Da, 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 oh. You get to set the tone. Mm. Now you're playing against the pirate and... Oh, oh that guy died. The No, he didn't. Oh, it was a I fake see. out. Oh, it's a fake out. Mm. The cowboy... And the pirate is gone! Okay, round two. Oh, man. What? Oh, this is between, a faster round this time. Between me and this other guy. It's between you and the other guy. Cowboy gadget. Oh, those are different disguises he probably has. No, they're not disguises. These are supposed to be other gadgets from time. Off. That's not very nice, Amber. Well, what am I supposed to do now? There's only one wire. There's only two wires. Oh, wait. Yeah, you gotta do it again. Whoopsies. Oh, this is like hot potato. Hot potato that you must win. Do you need help, Uncle Gadget? Ooh. Yes. You're gonna skip the minigame? Fine. We're playing it again. So, they'll progress the story for you if you fail. 
Ha! Oh, I see. No, I don't want Penny to help me. She, Super Kong mode! She always helps in the cartoon. There's no way I'm letting a tiny girl bail me out of this. Will Amber select journalist mode? I am a fam I'm a famous detective and inspector. I'm an inventor of all kinds of machines. I'm extremely <laughs> intelligent. There's no way I'm letting a little girl and a dog show me up. Go, go, Gadget journalist mode! No! <laughs> oh dear, Uncle Gadget. All the bombs exploded. Thank goodness you're not I don't hurt. need you to tell me Taylor, that, Penny. I'm a more. very big man, and I am smart. I don't need a tiny, tiny girl telling me what to do. Penny, what are you doing here? Uh, I just wanted to make sure you were okay, oh, okay. and I found a mad trap. Why would I need a tiny bombs, girl to so check on me? You should be doing your they explode. All right, Penny. Stand back, because this is an extremely dangerous mission. I'll handle it. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Yeah, since by chance, it's extremely Why dangerous. Is Penny is always looking out for her uncle as if he's going to, like, blow himself up without her help. I mean, basically, in the live-action movie, they turn Inspector Gadget into RoboCop. He has a horrible accident that they basically turn a normal guy yeah, into... Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Well, I mean, it, it's a joke, though. It was a PG movie. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they put all kinds of weird gimmicks and gadgets inside of him and stuff like that. Matthew Broderick did a great job. It's just... It was Matthew Broderick playing Inspector Gadget. He didn't act like Inspector Gadget. Yeah, he didn't have the voice. The other guy at least attempted to act and sound like Gadget. Yeah. So that was perfect casting. But the movie he was in wasn't very good. The sequel movie's not very good. The casting and the... The, um... The actor playing Inspector Gadget are really good. I'm not a fan of Hot Potato. Gadget looks weird with a huge beard on. That's that's supposed to be um, what's his name, Gadget. Ooh. Wow. Moving on to the next round. Who will be the unlucky sap? The pirate. Oops. That leaves the Viking, the caveman, and Inspector Gadget. Oh, he's a caveman. He's a caveman. That's why he has a beard. Go Viking. <laughs> You won, Viking! Good job! R.I.P. That leaves you two for just four wires. Who will be the winner and who will be the chump? Wow. Three wires left, Amber. Ooh. Oh! What in the Hold on. All There's right. nothing I can do at this point. Yeah, you can just let journalist mode take over because this you'll be here all day. Ooh. Missed it by that much. This game is completely by chance. This is like playing shoots and ladders. Yeah. You can you can do journalist mode, Amber. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Kotaku, for making things accessible. Mm. Accessibility is helping all of us to be mediocre one game at a time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Zing! <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was funny. Journalist mode activated! Go, go, oh, get Rain, journalist mode. I managed to remotely defuse the bombs just in time. They were built with one of the machine's bolts, and Uncle Gadget got it back. Oh, we didn't get to hear Brain. All right, Sorry. so that gadget's over. No, nope. notice how she was using her uh, watch to talk to Brain. Oh. She did that in the show. Interesting. Yep, go, go, gadget, journalist mode. Da -da -da -da. Inspector, journalist. Da -da 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 da 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 Inspector, gadget, da -da 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 -da. Go, gadget, go. Yep. Thank you, everyone. I have to try. Imagine being a famous inspector and inventor, and you get showed up by a tiny girl and a dog every time. I don't think he's an inventor. He just, he has... Then how does he have all these gadgets? They're inside of him. He's not human. What? Yeah, he's half human. He's a cyborg, basically. That's weird. I mean, it was pretty common in the 80s. There were, like, you had a show about... The... Go, go, gadget, oh wow, they don't let you fall off the building. He makes the umbrella come out. Wow. 
Go, go, gadget, roller skates. So he's like a cyborg. Kind of. Yeah, he's kind of like a cyborg, but he's like a human looking cyborg because he has parts inside of him. Interesting. When I was a kid, I thought that he just had like a, a helicopter thing and gadgets like Batman or something like that. I thought he had but him in there, his boat. There was an episode where he got really hurt. Or, well, kind of. He survived an explosion and his head and his arms and his legs were like off his body with like this really long um, coil oh, that wow. made his head extend and his arms extend. So oh, and then wow. I realized so that he was he's a not really fully human. Oh, wow. He isn't and he is. And I don't think the actor ever really explained. By all my gadgets. No one cleans this city anymore. No one cleans the city anymore with all my gadgets. Yeah, it was like it didn't have to be explained. It was like, no, okay, it was just a kid so show. he has gadgets coming out of him. I get it. All yeah. right, moving on. Yeah, exactly. All right, I understand the premise. He has gadgets. For the first time, I thought he was kind of like Batman. Was like, yeah, oh, like, okay. I thought he had gadgets gadget on him, like, that came out of his hat or something. Mm-hmm. But I guess it actually comes out of him. Yeah. Oh, nice tribal paintings nice on the ground. tribal paintings. Maybe I should follow it's the claw. Them. Oh, oh, it's the claw. I thought that was just graffiti. No. So we have to find, uh... I'll get you, gadgets. I'll get you, gadgets. Creepy. That's what the claw sounds like, though. And the claw was the... Gadget. Was it a cat or no? No, the claw was a man. Oh. With a he claw. Had a he had a cat. Oh. Inspector Gadget is a spoof of Maxwell Smart, the James Bond movies, and, uh, just cartoons in general oh. like it's, it's a pair it's like one giant parody go, go, gadget, it's basically you don't know, like how in the 90s we had the tick which was a spoof of like superhero stuff at the time like superhero media movies were becoming more apparent so yeah. the tick was made as a parody of superheroes yeah inspector gadget was a parody of like the pink panther movies and james bond and get smart mm. but made into a cartoon Oh, wow. Because in the cartoon show, didn't, or in, um, Get Smart, didn't Maxwell Smart, wasn't he after, like, a secret organization that had bad guys? And wasn't James Bond always after a secret organization, like, uh, Spectre? Something like that? So the Claw is yeah. technically an evil organization. Right? Yeah, so it was supposed to be, like, a James Bond villain. Or... Right, yeah. It was, it was a parody of the culture. Like, it, it was basically... Inspector Gadget parodied, like, 30 years of culture into one show. Yeah, so he was making fun of a lot of the shows that were around that time. Right. Or yeah. movies. Yeah, but it was it was fun. It was made for kids. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Hey, wait! You're losing your bolts! You can do this one if you want. Did that, did that lady not have a, a lot to say, or...? I pressed A, and then it just went into this. Oh, it just went into this. Alright, Fly You Fool is the name of this, so... Oh, mini game. That's from Gandalf. Yeah. Fly, you fools. Use the gadget copter to collect as many bolts as possible. Avoid the booby trap bolts. Did you want to do this one? No. Honey? Nope. You try the mini game. I'm good. Are you sure? Yep. I'm having fun watching. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Just don't spill the tea. <sighs> don't spill the tea, Amber. Where is my you are always um, Inspector Gadget. I'm the one who has the brown coat. You are the one with the trench coat. I yes. wore the brown pants today. <laughs> wore the brown pants today. All right. So your goal is to use Gadget to collect stuff. Three, two, one. Let's go. Wait, I don't want to collect. You don't the want claw. to collect the claw marks. Collect the gadgets. The higher the points, the better. And remember, you're competing against your other selves. Because your Oops. greatest enemy Oops. is yourself. Yeah, because I'm always hitting myself. You're getting no points. Oops, I'm going to have to do this again. You are going to have to do this again, yes. <laughs> I can't. I'm not good at this. Oh, this is hard for me to see where I am. The cowboy is beating. You have a trench coat. I You're know, the only I one can't... with a trench coat. It's hard for me to. You have trench coat and blue pants. There is no one else here that looks like you. Oh gosh. You lost. Well, how many points did I get? You got third place. Oof. Second place. Yeehaw! Oh my gosh. The cowboy crushed you. Oof. 
<laughs> do it again. Oh my gosh, Luke. I don't know. I'm not good at this. Try again. <sighs> oh, that is the symbol for the claw there. That is the symbol for the claw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really scary, Luke. Oh, no. I, it's managed to get many I don't like your claw. Megatron was the voice of Inspector Gadget. You mean the claw? Ah, uh, yeah, the claw. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, wait! You're losing your bolts. So you just hit A once. Let me just press. Oh wait, no, you're right. I pressed A to skip on it. Okay, now hit A. There you go. So I messed that up. Well, good thing I died, so we can see that again. So now you know. Try to aim for the points that are the highest. Avoid the claw marks. And you're fighting completely different characters this time. All right. I'm up here. Yep. Oh, that one woman is up there. Yeah. So you want to get the, the highest points. If you fail again, then I will do it. Every time you hit a claw mark, they take away points. So that's why you had, like, so little points last time. Ooh. Wow, the Viking is destroying you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I could have gotten a 21. 30. Oh. If you don't screw this up, you have a chance of winning. Good job, Amber. You got 215, you win. I did? Yeah. Minigame complete. I thought we won one minigame on this. No, what? no journalist mode. Yay, what's that guy supposed to be like? What? The guy with the top hat. British. Okay. He's supposed to be... Victorian times Victorian person? times. That's why he has a patch, because he's too poor. You know, mm. Pirate, Viking, and Inspector Gadget. Mm. Make sense? Mm. Too bad they don't have Eliza Doolittle uh, no. gadget. Miss. No. Refrain. Mm. There's going to be not, a cutscene. I'm not going to do it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Inspector Gadget became a cyborg because he slipped on a banana that peel. Left before I could even give her bolts back. That'll make more for the professor. Okay, so what do they want? Complete more mini games. So we have to complete two more mini games. Can you put the roller skates on on top of a building? Mm. Go, go, oh wow, you wow. can. Okay, that's probably not a good idea though. <laughs> Pretty dangerous. Wow. <laughs> well, actually, I feel like this show did teach kids like. Go, go, you shouldn't yeah, like rollerblade on buildings or fall off them or you know. probably not yeah it kind of showed them you would crash into a pile of trash and stuff that wouldn't be fun all right so the mini games are actually disappearing look at that there that would have been a cool inspector gadget that's an yeah age, like, a knight a oh knight yeah inspector that's like gadget. king arthur inspector gadget mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. sword in the stone uh residential neighborhood so there's something over here that's supposed to be the Holy Grail. Air vents, points of interest. Near the park. Got it. So we're near it. Then uh, we just have to go to points of interest. Go, go, gadget, roll Yeah, I can't get over how good this impersonator is. He's pretty close. Because Don Adams has been gone a long time. Like almost 20 years. You can go. There you go. Take a left. Taking a lap. <clears throat> there you go. Hello. Voice of interest. Straight and you got it. There it is. There. Supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of my roller skates. Oh, okay. Some lady. That's the same lady. Hello, officer. Can I help you? Yes, the light isn't working anymore. Can you stand in for me and get the cars moving? I'll see what's wrong. You have to stand in the middle of the intersection. <laughs> wow. Why, of course. I'll get to it. 
Aren't you gonna get hurt? Right. <laughs> So send the wow, terrible. She works for the claw. That's horrible. I bet we're going to have to play Frogger now. Road rage gadgets. Oh my gosh. Don't get hit by the car. Oh, you have to hit each other so you get hit by cars? Wait, avoid the cars and be the last one alive. Watch out for gadget mallet blows. Okay. This gives new meaning to the term. Don't play in traffic! Or go play in traffic! Basically, I would call this minigame Hit and Run! It's called traffic and stuff. I know. Avoid everything. <laughs> Try to get your rivals hit by cars! That doesn't sound... Alright, so how do you actually hit people? Oh, you hit people with the mallet. Alright, yeah, so basically it's Mario Party with Inspector Gadget. Ooh. So, I mean, this game's probably not going to do very well. Um, but... Oh, um, surprisingly, yeah. Amber, look! Oh, I know. I, I, I'm, I'm having problems. What's wrong? The L and R button's not working? Oh, you want me to take over the minigame? Okay. All right. And then after that, I'll give it to you. And then you're gonna go take care of your tummy <coughs> issue. I'll be, yeah, maybe I'll be okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This will make me feel better hitting people in the face. Okay. Oops. Oops. Probably not a great idea to get hit by the car. You have three hearts. Ooh, now Oops. you have two hearts. I didn't, I thought that was me running away. No, honey, you have a trench coat. It's very easy to discern who's who based on the colors they're wearing. I'm starting to think you have problems seeing <laughs> colors. No, I can see. Oh. Oops. Missed it by that much. All right, I'm starting to feel better. Oh my God. Let's try this again. Third place. Not last, but not great. Mm, the claw little thing is kind of scary. It looks like a demon cat. It's kind of freaking out. It's a out. cat symbol. Scary. I mean, if I had an evil organization, I would have a cat symbol because yeah. it's cool looking. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. In fact, I would probably plagiarize mm. as a villain. Mm. What would I care about copyright laws? Yeah, you could just take somebody else's evil symbol. Take somebody else's evil you symbol from Buck You are very Poker. good at avoiding accidents. Wow. I'll try it again. Hello, you have officer. To. Can I help yeah, you? Yeah, I have to get yes, through it. And the light isn't working. Why, of course. I'll get Sorry. Through Stand it. in the middle of traffic. Stand in the middle of traffic. Right. He fell for it. So send the vehicles. Uh -huh. The funny thing is she isn't mm -hmm. even dressed as a police officer though. She just has a police hat. She's wearing like a long evening gown. Yeah. It just shows how absurd Inspector Gadget is. I think she was supposed to be wearing like a bluish gray dress that was supposed to look like a police officer. Police officers don't wear dresses like that. It, she should have been dressed like a meter maid. That would have made more sense. It'd been more convincing, but the show is absurd, so it's supposed to be a joke. They're showing that he's not that smart. You don't really need to do that again, honey. You're not actually into the minigame. Oh yeah, I forgot. Not thinking. I'm really starting to worry about you. <laughs> All right, Luke. Don't get hit by traffic. Whoop. Yep, it shows where the cars are coming. Mm. Which you walked right into. This is very concerning. <laughs> I don't think I can the do The object is to avoid the cars. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. I will be your journalist, Mo. Don't worry. <laughs> The car's coming straight at you. That should be a song. We've been remember we were gonna do a, an album for gamers. Do a song. I will be. I'll be there to play for you when you can't get by the minigame. <laughs> wow. I will heal your pain. 
So speaking of pain, what? when did that start up again? Is it as bad as it was a few days ago? What, my tummy? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it in here. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, and then I'll be able to do the mini James Bond. You aren't very good at avoiding No, accidents. she's not very good at avoiding traffic. Watch me do it in one go! Hello, officer. Can I help you? See, yes. she's wearing, the like, a gown, and she just Why, has a police hat I'll on. Get... Right. He fell for it. So send the vehicle. They should have her dressed like a meter maid. Okay. <gasps> now let's go play in traffic. I missed. Uh oh. Oh wow. Oh, he should have gotten hit. All right. Blast! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Okay. You move really slow. No, I don't need Penny. Okay, so now I know that the character actually moves at, like, a very slow pace. There's no way to jump out of the way, either. You basically move as slow as Mario. I almost did it in one go. If I hadn't gotten hit at the beginning. Alright, alright, here we go. You aren't very good at avoiding acts. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm aware of that. Hello, officer. Can yes, the light. Why, of course. Right. Round two. Forward. So send the vehicles. Hmm? He prefers Pac-Man Party, alright. There's no reason this game shouldn't have allowed multiple controllers. Okay, one guy got hit a little bit. Nobody got hit. Nobody got hit again. Oof. Uh-oh! Wow, AI is actually pretty smart. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on? Woo! Holy cow! It's just me and the pot. Wait, what? Ah! Yeah! There we go! Victory! Oh. Woo! I got excited over a child's minigame. <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of hard to avoid those cars. Don't play in traffic, kids! That nice lady's gone. I wanted to thank her. Thanks to her, I was able to find a bolt in the middle of all this chaos. It's okay, Brain. I managed to restore the traffic lights, and Uncle Gadget and his great-great-grandfathers made it. Yeah, go Penny! I like how they show Penny actually working behind the scenes. That's awesome. Penny rocks. Yep. Have I ever played Mario Party mini games before? Yeah, we've covered several Mario Party games on this channel. We've done a majority of them. Where is the next destination? 
Those AI are very smart. It's why I'm creeped out by AI. We need to go to the very bottom of the map. Go, go, gadget skates! Go, go, gadget roller skates! Still, the, I wonder if the frame rates are an issue on the PlayStation. This is a little sputtery. It's not too bad, but not too great either. And ever since my eye got scratched, I still almost see blurry stuff out of it a little bit. It's not that bad, but it still hurts from time to time. Now I need to find a way up on the roof. Hmm. Perhaps going oh, down this alley. Aha! So we're gonna take the vent up. Uh ah, there it is. Go go gadget umbrella! So I'm noticing a theme here. Um some mini games are on the ground, and some mini games are up on the buildings. Up. Go, go, gadget roller skates. The blue marker indicates where the minigame is. Go, All right, go, that's gadget pretty... roller skates. Yeah. I don't know how long this game is, though. It might be a very short game. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. Mm, Wowzers! My great grandfather found a bolt. That's great. Let's take it to the professor. <laughs> Wait! Don't do that. <laughs> Did the last Pokemon stream get a thousand views? Uh, Negative! You are still 20! Wait. You are... Uh, yeah. It looks like you're 20 views away still. And... Super Bomberman R2 Part 3 is... 40 views away. But Pokemon is getting close. Either YouTube's not counting the views right. Now it says 999 for uh, Pokemon and Super Bomberman dropped down to 950. So, I mean, they're constantly adjusting views all the time. It stinks. But, yeah, I mean, you should... The Pokemon stream should be unlocked today. You should be fine. My precious. I wonder how many minigames this game has. Keep the bolt in your hand as long as possible. Pass over the flowers to pick them up and throw them to stun your opponents. Huh? Okay. Let's give it the old college try, gang. So it's like keep away? I wasn't paying attention how to actually throw things at people. Uh... I have a flower. Oh, I see. so it's basically like the one who holds on to it the longest has the most points. I understand now. Wait, how did he chase me though? I don't understand that. The guy pressed a button to charge me without throwing a flower at Okay, that time he threw a flower at me.
This is kind of confusing. I don't really understand what's happening here. I think I won, but not sure how it happened. I'll take it. Wowzers! Hey, Casey Batman, how's it going? I don't really understand what just happened. And I probably never will. I know, sweetie, it's okay. I don't think this is a very long game. I might be wrong, though. Ha <laughs> voila! I finally got the bolt Maybe back. getting the bolts back is the first step to the game. Wowzers, my top secret gadget phone. It's you, Chief. Where are you? In the street that leads to the residential neighborhood? Good, I'll be right there. Top secret phone. All right, so Chief is here. Maybe there's an entirely different section. Maybe this game is longer than I think it is. Go, go, gadget rockets! Go, go, gadget roller skates! Hey, Garrett, how's it going? I mean, I'm starting to adjust to this game. It, it's it's okay. I mean, I'd probably give this game, like, just for nostalgia, I'd give it, like, a 6. It's got some frame rate issues. And uh, some Joy-Con issues, at least on Nintendo Switch. Where, I mean, it might just be our Joy-Cons. Hi, Chief! Penny, what are you doing here? Well, I... Uh... Ah, I get it. An idea of Chief Quimby so you can see me at work. That's right, Uncle Gadget. Spot on. Well done, Gadget. You managed to scare all the mad agents away from the city center. And the police department was able to regain control of the precinct. I don't know how you're so skilled, but it's impressive. You can count on me, Chief. Yes, Brain. Where are you? In the residential neighborhood? What? There are mad agents there? Oh no, what are you saying? They trapped the residents inside their houses and took over the residential neighborhood? Yes, we're coming. Uncle Gadget, we need to get into the residential neighborhood. We need to force the mad agents out and free the residents. Okay, so the game's not over. There's a resident section, so they're gonna change the map, I guess. So, I've noticed when the screen turns blue like that, it means you are actually close to where the next minigame is. Validate. Validate going to the residential change. Okay. Validating residential area change. Yeah, so actually, uh -huh. I've only seen... People only show the first city. Why? I don't know. They don't play the whole game? I don't even know how long the whole game is. I mean, it's a $40 game. I hope it would be longer than just the little city. Yeah. Also, I'd like to get my money's worth out of it. It's like, I might as well show off the whole thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is a residential area. Let's see if they actually changed... Yep, they changed the character on the map. So maybe oh! the knight is a character you can get because there is the um, stone man. man. Yeah, the cave guy. Stone dude. The Stone Age! <laughs> get it? All right, so here's our first stop. Go, go, Gadget! Rocket skates! Penny always has a sweet voice, but I liked how she sounded in the 80s. The person who's playing... The lady who is playing her in this sounds like an older Penny, but she doesn't sound like the original Penny. Oh, so she had like a higher voice? Um, no! No, she's definitely sounded like a kid, though. Kind of. You'd have to watch the original show. I'm tempted to get the original show on DVD because it's, it's sweet. I don't know if it's on DVD, though. It might be. Not every 80s cartoon show is still on DVD. That's why there's a website. It used to be a website called um, 80scartoons.com oh, where wow. their whole mission was to get 80s cartoons onto DVD. I don't yeah. know if they're still around or not. I mean, they made so much 
so many great ones back I was then. a member. Oh, wow, Luke. That's well, crazy. I used to love getting classic cartoons on DVD. Oh, here's that woman in the evening dress from... Oh, hello, Inspector. I heard some strange noises in my building, and I think there's a bad guy inside. I don't dare enter my home anymore. Could you please go take a look? Why, of course. Stay here, and I'll go have a look. Hmm. You want me to try it? Yep, Thank you, try sweetheart. again. I'll get the name of what the minigame is called. It's called 123 Gadget. Uh -huh. oh, that is... <laughs> yeah, instead of, instead of uh, yeah, that's an organization called Spectre that was um, Mission Impossible. So this is an organization called Matt. <laughs> and, and, no, Spectre is Bond. Spot the Mad... Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, Spot the Mad Agent by shining the gadget flashlight on him. Wait until the last moment to turn around, but be careful not to wait too long. Mm-hmm. Wait, how do I do <laughs> How do I do it? Oh, turn around with A. Where am I? Which one am I? The one at the top? You're always the guy in the trench coat, Amber. It never changes. You're the OG Inspector Gadget. So basically, this is like the the mini game with the chain chomp from Mario Party. You have to get the guy when he's about ready to grab you, and the person who shines the light closest to him wins. Well, I lost. Yeah, you did it a little bit too early. Yeah, you panicked too soon. Try again. How many mini games? Is this? And who's the company that makes this? Go get you go. Yeah, that's a been a long time. Pokemon is getting anyone? another stream. I'm One thousand sure still inside. We almost missed it by that much. And Bomberman is still. 70, 80, oh, hello, Inspector. 40 views away. I heard some strange so you guys could get in my and building. You could get 40 and views on Bomberman, and then Bomberman inside. will be happening tomorrow. I don't dare enter my home. Why, of course. Stay here, and I'll go have a look. I'll go have a look. Yeah, so this is, uh, basically, Inspector Gadget is, like, it's copying Mario Party. Like, mm. a lot of popular Mario Party games are being copied in this. So, <laughs> the goal is to get the guy before he can grab you. Aha! You got this. All right, get him. All right, I'll try it. If not, there's always journalist mode, Amber. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is the chain shop mini game. I think you won. I don't know. Congratulations! Good job. Yay! I did it. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, little kitty. That must That's be... Claw's cat. Oh, wow. So cute. It would be nice to play the gadget mobile, though. Maybe they'll have a mini game with the gadget mobile. That would be cool. Car. You see, Brain? It was a trap. But Uncle Gadget managed to scare the mad agents out of the building. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Brain the dog is there. Yeah, Brain is probably not going to appear in this game other than, like, just through... Like a little picture of him. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next mini game. So far, there are eight mini games in this game, but I think there are more. I would guess there's maybe 20. Mm. I'm not sure, though. Still, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I hope you guys are having fun. Thank you for the Hi Letter message, Garrett. Hi Luke and Amber, hope you guys are doing well. I'm glad you finally have your new cat, and I hope he's adjusting well. He hasn't left the bathroom yet. Thank you very much, Garrett. Bless your heart, and thanks for being a member for 16 months. We have the door open, but... Yeah, we have the door open with a shoe, and he's not coming out. I'm gonna try to... We got him. Yeah. I don't know if he ate. I think he ate a few crunchies last night. Mm. And he, I don't know if he did though. I had a full bowl of crunchies for him last night. He. Wait, did you did you give him new crunchies? I gave him a few 
small and a separate bowl. They gave him a new wait, bowl. wait, wait, wait. So the the stuff that I poured for him was pretty big. You said he ate some of it, or you? I don't know. I haven't changed that at all. Okay, I'm gonna investigate again because I did pour him quite a bit. I hope he did eat something. Oh, thank you, Crossfighter. Crossfighter says, "Always a pleasure." Is that you? Thank you. You deliver mail now. Mm, how did he fit in there? He's oh, he's like Agent Thirteen. Uh -huh. No gadget, we need you. So, here's your mission. A mad agent locked himself in this building. Stop. You must force him out. Stop. If you guys don't know what he's doing, um, that's a get smart joke. Um, this is this is from Get Smart. Get that door open. Stop. This message will self-destruct. Sure, Chief. I'll take care of it right now. Wow. Yeah, so um, Get Smart was actually a spoof of James Bond and the Mission Impossible show. And the man called Uncle. And it it got really popular because of like um, it was a it was a parody it was a spoof of that so then you know they basically incorporated Don Adams character because I believe he was part of the creative force behind Inspector Gadget and then like you know a lot of Maxwell Smart's jokes and themes ended up in Inspector Gadget because it was the same guy playing the same character but I think he helped write the show I don't remember. He loves kids, though. Like Don Adams. He's, he's basically like Mr. Rogers, but for cartoons. Um, yes, the, uh, Garrett, your, your answer, um, Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway did try to do a remake of the Get, the, In get Smart In 2008, series. I believe. In, like a movie kind of character. You've got to go faster, Ember! You have to break through the door! Missed it by that much. <laughs> Missed it by way more than I thought. The caveman did it better than me. Yep. Whoops. Try again. Yeah, Larray was right. All of his ancestors look exactly the same as him. That's the joke. Oh. Okay. Don't overthink the joke. You gotta be fast. They look like clones, though. Mm-hmm. Can Amber beat the AI? What a fail, Gadget. You didn't manage to catch him. Try again. Chief, is that you? You deliver mail now? <laughs> no, Gadget. We need you. So, here's your mission. <laughs> you deliver mail. A mad now. agent locked himself in this building. Stop. You must force him out. Stop. You have to get that door open. Stop. This message will self-destruct. Sure, Chief. I'll take care of it. No, right now. Chief. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. No. Thank oh, you for thank the you. super chat, Ashley. We thank appreciate you, Ashley, that. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much, Ashley. We versus Hey Luke and Amber love this channel. Watching the gameplay, Luke fight. X Family Season 2 comes out on Hulu in October. Yay. That is my current anime, too. Awesome. I hope it's not a Hulu exclusive, though. We have Hulu, but I like watching it on Crunchyroll. Tokyo Donation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ashley. Bless your heart. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love Spy X Family. It's such a cute show. I'm looking forward to the second season so much. It's like my most anticipated um, fall anime. Go, Amber, go! Go, Amber, go! Pound that door to smithereens. Go, Amber, go! Yay! I did it! Good job! All right, we're done. We are the uh, done. Good job, Gadget. Go, go, Gadget, win. Uh -huh. I like Yay. the loading screen. Loading screen is super nostalgic. This game feels like it's at my skill level. Ooh. 
That's in a good way! That's, I like this game! That's not the flex you want it to be. Congratulations, Gadget. Thanks to you, we managed to stop that bad guy. There are fewer and fewer mad agents. Here, he'd stolen this, so it's yours. That's supposed to go to evidence! <laughs> you stole this! Here, have this. <laughs> you can't tank it if it was stolen. You can't just take it for yourself. That's to go in the evidence locker. <laughs> what in the world? That's that's being a bad police inspector. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like he stole these diamond he, he earrings. He stole this. Here, Here have go. this. Have your cut of the stolen earrings. Wait, isn't that wrong though? <laughs> what is this? A Pink Panther movie? Oh wow. Yeah, they did parody the Pink Panther too because I'm just thinking about it now. He wears a hat and he wears a trench coat. That's Inspector Clouseau. So, Inspector Gadget, if I'm not mistaken now, is a parody of the Pink Panther, James Bond, Get Smart, Mission Impossible, and its own thing. Mm, yeah. And basically, Don Adams is playing the role of Maxwell Smart as Inspector Gadget. He yeah. even says, his one of his catchphrases is the word wowzers. That's what Maxwell Smart used to say a lot. Oh, wow. Wowzers, 99! 99. I, I actually saw that 99 old, was his wife. That old show. Wait. Don. 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 Um, no, that wasn't his wife in real life. But his wife in the TV wife. In the show. Oh, wow. That makes sense why they were so close in the show then. Yeah, that was his TV wife. I really loved Agent 99. She was oh. so cool. They actually had. Um, a few live-action movies of Get Smart in the 70s and 80s, but those are really rare, like, to get on DVD now. I thought he was Agent 86. I thought that was Agent Um, I think, I think he was Agent 86, actually, yeah. I don't, I don't remember, though. It was a long time ago. Um, Get Smart used to be on TV for, um, on uh, Nick at Night. That's how I actually, because I was obviously not born when that show was on TV. Nick at Night brought it back. Um, I'm trying to remember if it was Don Adams who got it put back on television or if it was like one of the surviving cast members. I want to say Don Adams lived until the early 2000s. I don't know though. Because there were a couple different... When Don Adams got sick, there was a new Inspector Gadget who replaced him. And he sounded exactly like Don Adams, and then that guy passed away. Oh, wow. This is the third or fourth guy to play Inspector Gadget. Like, trying to act like the original Inspector Gadget, I mean. If anyone likes the spoofs and parody shows, I recommend you guys watch the original Get Smart. It's incredibly funny, it's the Silver Sonic. Yeah, we'd like to get it on DVD, it but we don't have it. It is funny. And the, and the Inspector Gadget show is funny, too. Mm-hmm. Twilight Alex, thank you for the super chat, says Luke. Mm. How do you do that claw, Dr. Claw voice? How do I do that? I've tried, but I can't do it. I'll... Uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll get you, Gadget. I can't do it perfectly, but it, it causes pain. It's, it's hard to do. Just do the deepest voice you can. No, I, I don't even know how to explain how I do it. It's like a gravelly, almost like you're gargling water. Oh, that's so painful. It's like you're growling. <laughs> Just pretend you're growling. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. It hurts, though. Thank you. And then it says, I will always be on streams when I can. I, if you don't see me, I'll probably be lurking. Okay, no thank you. No worries. We love lurkers. That's fine. Thank you, um, Alex. Really uh, appreciate the surf super chat. I don't know how to get inside the school, unless I'm supposed to go in the building. Garrett says, I learned recently that Jim Phelps, a villain from the first Mission Impossible movie, go, go, was a hero in the TV show. Turning Jim into a traitor apparently really made people mad who liked the show. Mm. Jim Phelps. Go, go, gadget know, roller know, skates. Jim Phelps is. For the first Mission Impossible movie. Mm. Oh, he's, he's one of the characters go, from go, the Mission Impossible umbrella. show. That's what they're talking about. Tribal paintings on the ground. Maybe I should follow. Oh! Hello, I know. sir. Would you be interested in a free aerobic session? Oh, I could use a bit of a workout. Gladly, miss. 
Of course, it could only do you some good. No one's died of exhaustion yet. <laughs> Follow me. Here you go. So his um his superior boss. Hmm. Um, Ethan Hunt's boss. Ah. In the original show, was a good guy, but in the movie, How? they made him oh, oh, oh. How? They made his character, his boss, evil. In one of them. In the first movie, the one where everybody hey, dies. Hey, oh. hey, hey. His entire team gets killed. Well, that's interesting. How? Oh, hey, hey, oh god, hey, hey. I can't do that. Try your best. ADR. <laughs> Yep, just right, watch her. Okay, give it a go, Amber. Remember, there is journalist mode if you can't pass it. Oh, these are difficult. Yeah. Does anybody know how many mini games are in this? I did it. Weird. I'm supposed to do it fast, I guess. I don't know. Up, down. Okay, so you can do it fast. So it's just you and the Viking then. Over, down, over. Up, over, down, over. I pressed up though. It's alright, try again. You got second on your first try. That's not bad. It's a lot easier. Try than, again. A lot easier than doing that with your feet in DDR. Mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you again, Ashley and um Alex and anyone else for the super chats today. I really appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Ashley uh, and Alex for your generosity. Thank you guys so much. Thank you every and also thank you Garrett for the uh, for being a member for 16 wow. months. Thank you so much, I Garrett. I think I'm a bit thank out of for practice. Your generosity. <laughs> think I'm a bit out of practice. Try again. Okay, and thank you all of our uh, mods helping us out in the chat. You guys are awesome. Thank you, um, you guys Mage are doing Wolf great. and um, Geofont, Crossfighter, and Garrett. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for your help. Hello, sir. Would you be interested in a free aerobic session? Oh, I could use they... a bit of a workout. Gladly, the miss. way that they do this in old cartoons where they make like a villain whose face, they make their features kind of twisted so you can tell there's something off about her. Like she looked, has a very beautiful like body, but her face is kind of twisted. Her features are jarred. You can tell like she's something's wrong with her, like she's a villain or something. It's very clear, like, who's a villain and who's not. The music... That's how I feel. The music of this game is actually done by the daughter of the Inspector Gadget creator. Oh, wow. Yep. That's so This cool. game is actually made possible by the team behind Inspector Gadget's legacy. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. So you're actually supporting uh, the daughter of the creator of Inspector Gadget with yep. this, with buying this game. Jean Choplin. Or of Cho course. Choplin. It could only do you some good. Very cool, Lou. No one's died so of exhaustion According yet. According <laughs> to the Nintendo Switch website, <laughs> this game it has 16 minigames. So we've done... Uh, I don't know. I don't think we've done that many. You can go on to your minigame, honey. One. All right, guys. Two, I'm gonna try this again. Three, four, Oof. five. Five. One, oh. two, six, seven. One. Oh. 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 Hey. Hey. Have to do it before the time runs out. Mm -hmm. oh. Up, down, ha. down. No, you you just want to get into the game, Andrew. Oh, right. This it doesn't training doesn't oh. matter. Ha. You should know when the screen is big. That's when you're in the actual mini game. I know, I forgot. Up, down. down, up, down. Down, up. So you're on the ninth mini game. There's 16 in total. Wow. <laughs> left, up, left. Left, up. Okay. Okay, and down, right, down. 
Wow, the AI is in sync with you. That's crazy. Down, up, down. Yep, same one again. Good. Cowboy Curtis missed one. Cowboy Curtis, that's what I was thinking, too. Up, down, left, up. Up, down, left, up. Okay, Caveman missed one. Up, left, down, down. Up, left, down, down. Oh. Cowboy Curtis is in trouble. Down, right, down, left. Down, right, down, left. Nice fire, Ember. Good job. Both the caveman and the cowboy are in trouble. Okay, caveman is down. It's just between you and the cowboy, and he can't miss one. You I win. Did it. it doesn't matter. You won. Good job. Oh, but I thought I did that last. Ninth mini game successful. So there are seven mini games left, and then the game is over. I always think Cowboy. That's because I like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Mm -hmm. He looks like Cowboy Curtis, actually. He's kind of dressed hey, the cowboy. Hey, Pee Wee, what seems to be the trouble? I can't do Cowboy Curtis. Hey, Cowboy Curtis. I can't do Pee-wee's. Why, voice. hello, Cowboy Curtis. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, hi, Pee-wee. You can sit good. down on chair you if right. you need to take a rest. <laughs> Wowzers. The aerobic session made me feel so good. You were right. Hey, where did that coach go? She forgot this on the way out. Oops. Rain, it was a mad agent in disguise. She tried to weaken Uncle Gadget by wearing him out. He was really lucky again. Ruff. <laughs> That's right. They should have brain on um, bark or something. They should have brain. Brain doesn't talk hurt. much, actually. I think he does have like a little bark or something. Sometimes, sometimes he barks. I think brain was also voiced by Frank Weckler. There's no more mini games in this area, so. Thank you, GS. Oh, my secret gadget phone. Chief, is that you? Where? In front of which house? Okay, I'll look at the map, and I'll be right there. Okay, so we're moving on to the next section. Amber 1, way to go, Amber. Thanks, Bowman. Thanks, Sharon. This is Amber 1. You're a great helper for Luke in this game. Thank you, Gio. We're switching off. I play the story, Amber plays the minigames. Unless okay. she really needs the help. She is working for Mad, says go, Mr. Paul. Oh, yeah, that lady with the... Twisted facial features is working. Go, go, gadget umbrella! Yep. I like how an old go, person go, can very clearly skates. see who the villain is. Like, it's very easy to see. Because they'll, like, do something mean, like, they'll trip somebody, or. So that you can easily see, like, oh, this person is mean. I like how they do that for kids, because it's harder to see when you're in their life. Oh, you can't okay. jump over cars. You can't really tell who's the good person, like, just kid, it's good to know, like, I mean, they can always change and become good, but at, when they're working for an evil organization, they're not good. Hello, Inspector. Shh, I'm undercover. I'm undercover, but he doesn't look undercover. <laughs> Penny, what? I really don't know how to thank you. Thanks to you, we're finally free. Thanks again for your help, Inspector. Yes, well done, Uncle Gadget. The residents can finally get their neighborhood back. Congratulations, Gadget. Unfortunately, we have another problem. City Hall is still under Mad's control, and its agents have sealed it off. We must find a way to get into the park to foil their plans. I'll go right away, Chief. You heard, Brain. <laughs> Uncle Gadget has to get into the park. We must find a way to get the guards who've sealed off City Hall to leave. Mm. Okay, so, so we're oh. in this. Uh, now we have to nice. go to City Hall. We're in an, like a community of people that live here. We actually might have done ten mini games, but I think that was the ninth mini games. Has anybody been counting the mini games or no? Point so, of interest. Uh, once we do ten, what happens then? I mean, we if we do ten, Hello. then we only have Hello. six mini games left. I'd like to do the full Hello game there. today. Like, there's mm. not. We might be able to get through it. Mm-hmm. Because I don't, I don't think this game's uh, no more than like two and a half hours. I don't think it's a very long game at all. Uh, air vents, point of interest. You want me to go to the city center? Amber Wynn. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. Go to the park entrance. What park? 
here? They didn't just want me to go back to the city. Go, go, gadget, when, when the dog was voiced by Frank Webber, Daffy, really? I figured, yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. He voiced the claw and he voiced uh, the puppy Frank. Thank you, Jonathan Shepard, says the Amber. Thank you, guys. Frank Weckler has voiced two popular um, dog characters Brain the Dog and Inspector Gadget and Scooby Doo. Mm. Hi, Savon. How's it going? Great to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are having a nice day today. This game is making me feel happy. Nostalgia! <laughs> because the best type of endorphin. <laughs> Luke's go, uh, go, voices of... I cannot believe that Luke can do the voice of Maxwell Smart. No, it doesn't and... sound like Max. Sounds like Inspector Gadget. Yeah, kind of. I used to before my voice dropped when I was a <clears throat> when I was a teenager. I was actually able to do a pretty good um, Inspector Gadget or not Inspector Gadget, Maxwell Smart. Oh wow! So he had a pretty high. Yeah, he had a higher voice. Voice. <laughs> uh, but Inspector Gadget, it was kind of like his normal speaking voice a little bit. Yep. I think I'm going the wrong way. Let's find out. Ah, there it is. The park. So, I think the the park is the next level, and then see here at the dock how they have this? Mm -hmm. The port? That's the final area. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, the claw thing is hard to do as well. So my guess is there's going to be three or four mini games at the park, and then the last area is going to be the port. That's my guess. Well, they got you different foods for the cat, so you can, if he doesn't like the food that's in the thing, you can always try some of the other things like that. Yeah, I really need him to eat something. I am pate I got. And... I'm, I'm concerned because he hasn't eaten yet that I know of. Hey, you! This area is off limits. Get out of here! Well, how are we going to get him to eat? Yes. Tell me. Yes? What? What? We'll be right there. Quick! A strange man disguised as a dog has managed to enter City Hall and is causing a panic. It's a disaster, so we must act before he wrecks everything. Ah, that's good news. Psst. Oh, it's you, Chief. You're selling fruits and vegetables now? Not at all, Gadget. I was looking for you. I don't know how you did it, but you managed to scare away those two agents. As always, you amaze me. Well done. Now that the coast is clear, I'm counting on you to investigate near City Hall and foil mad scheming. He never understands that that is the chief's disguise. He always thinks the chief has a new thing he's doing. Yeah, I know. That's the joke, though. Oh. It's, you're kind of in on the joke. <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. But it's like he doesn't give the chief credit for his cool disguise. He, like, thinks that he's... Hmm. It's weird. Let's see. It's like you would think he's an idiot because he doesn't understand that the chief is doing his job, but it like he seems like he's an idiot, but he actually does get the case solved. I guess that's the whole point. I was a teenager in the 90s, not the 70s. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> all right, all right. Hang, hang on. 10, 11, oh my gosh. 12, 13, 13 mini games here. So, yeah, the dock is the last area. Go, 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 go gadget, gadget skates. Mm, thank you for the super chat. Just 22. Appreciate that. Hey, you! Can you hold this for me? Oh, a balloon! Why, of course I'll hold it for you! Strange, this balloon's making a funny noise! <laughs> there you go. This is the tenth minigame, Amber. It's hot potato, literally. Pass oh, the bomb. No. Yep. Oh, no! How come those guys have gadget? Oh, that's right. They're me. Ah. Alright. 
So Remember, who... if you lose, you can always do <laughs> journalist mode. Okay. Yep, hot potato from... In, instead of passing a bomb around, you pass an actual bomb. Okay, they wouldn't be able to stretch their arms. That's only Go Go Gadget who can do that. Yeah, that like, wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense. Maybe all of his ancestors had gadgets. How? I don't know. Ah, the absurdity of cartoons. Uh oh. He's gonna pass it to you, Amber. Or not. They're not even passing it to me. I feel so left out. Uh, no, don't be left out, Amber. I wanna hold the bomb. Okay, hold on to the bomb long and then pass it off. Okay. Because at least you can speed up the process. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I don't want it. Also. Oh gosh! <laughs> Straight up killed the Viking. <laughs> All right, Amber. I got justice for your people there, Luke. What people? Ah. I know, I'm being weird. I'm half Irish, half Portuguese. All right. I prefer to, in my later ah. years, I prefer to be more Portuguese than anything else. That's fine. Because I'm getting... I don't know. Getting, as you, I, I, you are getting more tan as you get older. No, no, I mean, I'm starting to look more Portuguese than I do Irish. As I get older, which is something I've noticed a lot of family members. Great job, first try. That was the 10th minigame. Good job! That balloon caused quite a problem. Yay! Poor Viking. Poor Viking. I'm sorry. It's okay. I hurt. Viking. There are three more mini games heard, in this area. I heard the sweet innocent Viking. They've never hurt anyone. We're not getting into this. <laughs> We're not getting into this. Vikings did nothing wrong. That was really fun. But I can't find that nice man. And he'll be sad that he left a bolt behind. That makes one more to repair the machine. Okay, next mini game. So we can go here. Go, go, gadget skates! Go, go, gadget roller skates! Oh, in the park. Go, go, gadget roller skates! Oh, wow, that's kind of cool how I did that. Yeah, that was cool. Go, go, gadget yeah, thanks roller again skates. for the super chats. Ashley, Alex, and Just22, and everyone else. And uh, thank you for the highlighted message, Garrett. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I thought the chief was disguised as a tree. Oh, go, that would have been cool. Not, though. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, Inspector Gadget! You're just in time! I was just making notes on you and your ancestors' gadgets. Would you be willing to do a short experiment with your great-great-grandfathers? Certainly, Professor. Great! I'd love to test your stretchy legs. You just need to go as high as you can. Come on over here. There you go. Oh, wow. Geo says, I watched the 2015 Inspector Gadget show. Mm -hmm. The only thing I didn't like about it was that Penny kept getting distracted over a guy who is her rival who works for Mad. Oh, wow, Geo. I forgot about that. Higher. It's going, going good. Awesome, Savan. I'm glad. And then... Uh, Silver Sonic said yes. Inspector Gadget actually is an idiot, um, but that's the that's the joke of the show. So he is kind of an idiot, but somehow he does it anyway. Yep. Maybe maybe he has something that's smart, or maybe he just is an idiot. This is your eleventh mini game. All you have to do is grow taller. How do I do it? I'm I'm pressing A. Oh, I press it. Yeah. Okay, oh, and we're going okay. to the actual mini game and beat these fools. Okay, I'm trying, Luke. I I hopefully I can. I mean, technically, the Inspector Gadget 1980 show got canceled, too, but Inspector Gadget has popped up in pop culture for quite some time. Wow, the Viking guy is... I think you're beating everybody. Keep going, Amber. You got about uh, five seconds left. Keep going. A little more. You did it. 167. You win. Go, go, 
Oh, guess it legs. Good job. Yahoo! Great Yay! job, Amber. I did it. You did. Oops, Teamwork. Thanks, honey. Except you're doing the. All I'm doing is just hanging out in the you're free doing, roaming. I can't figure out how to get to the next place. That was the eleventh mini game. <laughs> there are sixteen in total. <laughs> Thank you, Gadget. This will really help me in my research. Always happy to help. That's another phrase he always used to say. Always happy to help. <laughs> that was both from Maxwell Smart and uh, the other guy. And Inspector Gadget. The, the theme song was very catchy because they had a lot of people singing it. Oh, the Inspector Gadget oh, theme? It was great. Yeah. It was like a uh, radio jingle. It was just so catchy. Mm -hmm. And the animation was really cool, too. Yeah, like the intro and stuff. There's Chief again. He's going to ask him if he works at a hot dog cart. Yep. Oh, Chief, it's you. I almost didn't see you. I can't believe it. You were hired to make wow. hot dogs? I'm not the one who's being hired, Gadget. <laughs> you are. We think MAD is trying to divert the city's electricity. So, here's your mission. Eggs. Flour. Milk. Rice. Oh, you got it. That's my <laughs> shopping list. Here. MAD agents are trying to divert electricity with a machine. Stop. Your mission is to inspect the park's transformer. Stop. You must disable the machine. Stop. This message will self-destruct. No. Always here to help. Don't you do me. it, Gadget. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe he's not fired already. Oh, it's, it's another one of these, Amber. SWAT with the gadget mallet when you see identical symbols to destroy the machine. So basically it's whack-a-mole, kind of. SWAT when you see identical symbols? I don't understand. So two symbols have to be identical? I don't know. I don't understand. I guess I'll just try it. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'll be good at this. Oh, I either one. Oops, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I didn't do it right. You're not getting any points. I'm not. I don't see any identical symbols. I don't really understand how this mini game works, actually. That guy. What? What is this supposed to be? Identical symbols to what? I think whenever you see the symbols appear, I don't know. It says identical ones. I mean, you identical got, ones. you got, you tied for second place, but they're gonna give you third. Yeah. Read the directions again thoroughly and try again. Okay. I didn't quite understand what that was. Hmm. Maybe I could watch the other people do it, like, and then... No, because I think watching them is not going to really help you. Okay. What did you do, Gadget? It's even worse, and half the city now has no electricity. Oops. Sorry. Try again. Oh, Chief, it's you. I almost Sharon didn't says see when you. you have a pair I of the same picture. I'm not the one... Eggs? Oh, doggone it. Mad agents are trying to your I think they had jokes like that in must the, disable the machine. one of the shows. This message will self always here to help you, Chief. That's what Sharon thinks it is. When you have a pair of the same picture, SWAT. Okay, so SWAT with the two. gadget mallet when you see identical symbols to destroy the machine. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Go. I'm ready to go. Attempt it again. Let's try this again. Nope. Nope. Not, not the same. Not the same. Not the same. There's symbols. There, there. you go. Yep. Um, no. No. Yes. Okay. Well, No, that was wrong. Nope. 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 Oh. No. Lord. It was only... I thought it was the same. No. I mean, that one looked like it was... Okay, you lost again. Oh my god. Alright, I'll do this one. Are you sure? Yeah. Yup. Oh. That's funny, they make it like, do you need help, Uncle Gadget? Like, Penny's gonna bail you out like she does in the show. Mm. <laughs> All right, Luke can be Penny, and I can be Inspector Gadget. The way you're playing, I'm starting to wonder. Wow. Yeah, so Luke is officially Penny. What did you do, Gadget? And I'm Inspector Gadget in this. Oh, Chief, I can't believe it. I'm not the one. Eggs? Oh, doggone. Mad agents are trying to do your mission. You must disable this message. Always here to help you, Chief. Feb 18th. Mm -hmm. Let's go. What button do I press? A, I think, or... A? I don't know, X, I'm not sure. Okay. Is it working, or... Yeah, is it it's the A button. button. Oh, I see, that's only a certain number of paw points. Oh, shoot. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I can try to do it. Let me see if I can see you. I don't want to see anything because I got it wrong last time. Shoot. So it's... I can't... Yeah, yeah this is kind of hard. There's two hats. I don't know why it didn't work. No, it won't let you skip. It won't let you continue. Well, you can always practice and see what button it is on the on the. On no, the it's thing. it's not it's not that. It's seeing the symbols. There are penalties for missing. No, not yet. But I might. We might end up skipping this one. Mm, I can almost try it again, but I guess I wasn't doing well on it. Mm. All right, I'll try to look for the symbols. But I don't want to mess you up if I accidentally see them. Well, you have a slower reaction what time than I do. What did you do, get? That's oh, true. chief! It's I can't believe it. I'm not the one. Eggs. Although I'm not the best at memory oh, stuff. Mad agents are okay. your mission. You I'm must this mm -hmm. message. Will always here to help you, chief. I'll just say there's two or no. <laughs> there's two. Or no, don't don't go. Now, don't go. Nope. 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 Yes. Go. Why didn't my points not go up? No. Mm. No. Mm. Yes. Okay. No. Mm. No. You can go down. Okay. No. Nope. Nope. Mm. Nope. 
No. No. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna skip this one. Yeah, we're skipping. I mean, I can try to do No, one. no. We have other things to do, Amber. Okay. Nope. Sorry, we're gonna need Penny's help. Oh, shoot. What? Uh, Penny didn't come. Oh. Well, you want me to try it one more time, then? You can try it one more time, but then when you lose, get Penny to come. Okay. Otherwise, we'll be stuck here, and we got other streams to do. Okay. What did you do, Gadget? It's even worse. And oh, Chief, it's you. I almost didn't see you. I can't believe it. I'm not the one who's be eggs. Oh, dog got it. Mad agents are. Tr Your mission is. You must disable this message. Will self de always here to help you, Chief? <laughs> yeah, this one's starting to hurt my eyes. So. This is our last one, and then when Penny comes up, hit yes. When you ask, <laughs> when someone asks if you need help, you say yes. Mm -hmm. No. No. Oops. That was it. Go. Why did he get 12? Because he did it right away. Yeah, the AI is too fast. Oh, you almost won. Skip. Well, I did better that time than before. Press A. There you go. Good job. You almost did it, but the AI is just too quick. And the AI is almost perfect, so. I tried. Missed it by one point. <laughs> yeah. Someone in the chat said, missed it by that much. Gadget, this is amazing. How did you do it? You foiled Mad's plans, and thanks to you, the city won't be without electricity. Congratulations! Here, their machine worked using this. Okay, so there are... how many minigames are left in the park? Oh, no, um, Daffy, Luke means we have other streams to do today. Yeah. Not like stuff around the house. We, go, have, other go, gadget to do. we have other streams to do. Go, go, gadget We're done with doing games. stuff around the house. All we have to do is just upkeep the house. Hello. Good afternoon. Whoops. Oops. Yeah, the frame rate is a problem on the Switch, though. They need to probably. I don't even know how you would fix that. This game probably plays better on PlayStation and Xbox. Probably. Hey there! Could you help me? There's something stuck in the turnstile stopping it from turning! Oh, why of course, sir. Let me handle it and I'll fix it right away. Okay. I feel like this guy is tricking us. Of course, Amber. Oh. Oh, wow. Jump away. Another Mario Party minigame. Hop, hop, hop. Hop. Oh my gosh. If you can't do it, I can do it. Hop, hop. Oh. This is a Mario Party mini game. You failed again. I can do it. I can do it. All right, do it. I can do this. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, come on! Whoopsies. <laughs> Mario Party minigame fail. That was hard. No. 
Hmm. I tried. Oh, by all my gadgets. Now there are three of you. Thank you, Frodeby. I tried. I appreciate hey that. There. Oh, Believe why, in yourself, course, Amber. Sir. You can do Let it. Me handle I tried. Thank you guys very much. Hop, 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 hop. Mm. All right, come on, Luke. You can do with this. Hop, 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 hop. Sometimes hop. it reverses without one. Hop, hop. Mm. I'm tempted to skip it, but I'll try one more time and then we'll skip it. Because we are in a. I want to get through the entire game. Because another stream like this won't do well. So may as well finish the whole game. Dun, 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 dun. That's, yeah, let's get smart. So basically with the frame rate oh, issue sir. problem, like everything is kind of slow. Mm, oh, okay. Like even the controls are a little slow to respond. That's why we keep hitting that thing. Oh, okay. Like, Inspector Gadget moves slow, he jumps slow. So you have to go a little before? Kind of, yeah. See how he kind of... Yeah, we're skipping. Well, we tried. Yep, that's what that mini game is like. Do you need help, uh, Uncle Gadget? Do it for me, Penny! Okay, last section of the game. Uncle Gadget made it, Brain. It was a trap, but it's okay. He's out of danger now. Let's keep an eye on him, because mad agents are directly targeting him. Well, of course they are. <laughs> Last area. <laughs> They're targeting him even though he... What's that noise? Oh, it's my top secret gadget phone. Oh, is that you, Chief? Where are you? Next to City Hall? Yes. There should I'll only be three mini games left. Can. Even though he doesn't seem much like a threat because he's all anyway. He's still man he's an idiot savant though, he just manages to He manages save to always save the day anyway. Mm hmm He underestimated his pictures. He Hello. Hello, looks like there. he can't do it for me. Mm-hmm. Wait, hang on. I have to go to the city center. This is the only exit. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice part. Yeah. To be honest. Validate. That's kind of weird. Validate your parking. It can be like confirm or, you know, something. Mm. It's probably going to be a cutscene. It tends to every new area you go to, there's a cutscene. Mm. Okay, Crossfighter, and just be right back. No worries. Mm. Never mind. You want us to go where? <laughs> Luke, you should be the voice of Inspector Gadget. No. Says Mr. Fulton. Yeah, I think Luke could have done a great job in this game. I go to the park entrance? I'm so confused. We just came from the park area. Why do you want us to go back to the park? Do you think that Inspector Gadget will catch up to Mr. C uh, the Claw? Yeah, I think so, Mr. Fulton. He never gets the Claw. Oh, he never does Claw get always gets away. Oh, really? It's not like a Bond and Blowfield situation where they're able to get the bad guy. Like, Claw always gets away. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So that then he has to try to get him next episode. Correct. All right, something's not working right here. Oh. There oh, go. there you go. Go, go, gadget roller skate. <laughs> he actually says it. That's cool. City Hall is here. Oh. I guess so. In the park? Once again, I congratulate this is you, mad. gadget. You succeeded. The usurper has been neutralized, and the citizens can take back City Hall. Chief, we lost City Hall. Well, our agent was unmasked. 
You fools! Hurry up and finish your mission in the port district, and stop the gadgets from returning to their times. Gadget can't be born if he doesn't have ancestors. <laughs> I don't think that's Frank. Hmm. Thanks for the info. We'll take care of it. All the remaining mad agents have fled to the port district, so we have to go see what they're up to. Right away, Chief. Oh, they've redone the city hall's facade. How original. Mm, that didn't sound like this wall at all. No, it, I mean, it's a not a bad impersonator, yeah. but there's, unless Frank is just getting up there in years, I don't know. It yeah, sounds the, a little different. The way you were doing it sounded like it, though. Especially when he laughed, it didn't sound Yeah, like the claw laugh sounds like Goldar. Well, Daffy would know who the voice actors in this game are, so he hmm. could find it for us. Yeah, he knows all about voice actors. Mm, we need to go... I told you the port would be the last area in the game. Right here. The last three or four minigames are going to be over here. And then, according to Nintendo, there's only 16 minigames, so after that, I guess the game would be over. But I don't know. Although some places are saying that this game is a full, like, $59 game, and I'm going to say that for two hours of gameplay, it's not really worth it. And also, Nintendo Switch owners are kind of bogged down by poor frame rate issues, so doing some of those mini games is more challenging than it need be. Mm, yeah. Hello, Professor. Hello, Gadget. Chief Quinby warned me that the mad agents had taken refuge in the port district. I suspect that Dr. Claw is trying to stop the other gadgets from being sent back to their times. There is a risk of causing a temporal disaster that could prevent you from existing. The clock is ticking. It's imperative that you find the rest of the machine's parts as soon as possible and bring them to me so I can repair it. But watch out for the mad agents who are causing trouble all over this neighborhood. All right, Professor. I'll take care of it. Okay, go to the port district. Validate. All right, let's count the mini games again to make sure that I am correct here. So we did one mini game, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, thank you. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 mini games have been done so far. There is 14, 15, and 16. So this is it. These are the last. Whoa, wait a minute. I'm confused now. Unless I miscounted somewhere. Go, go, gadget rollers. This should be the last area. For a fan. Oh, more garbage. Where's the fan. So part of the stuff is you have to find a way up to the building to get to the Mud guard is everywhere in this city. There you go. Hmm. Thank you, Captain J Dog. That's very kind. Just always believe in yourself, Amber. Thank Hup. you. Hup. Oh, someone Hup. was saying there was Hup. a toy. You can look up the Dr. Claw action figure, and there was a toy where he actually showed his face. So, Yamato. Oh, wow. Yamato. Yeah, that's really interesting. Wow. So, yeah, because I've never seen the Claw Go, go, gadget roller skates. Hey, Penny, what are you doing here? Uncle Gadget, I saw mad agents running away from a building, but I don't know how many. There might be a lot of them, so it's too risky to act. We need to find out how many there are and tell Chief Quimby as soon as possible. Of course, I'll take care of it. Okay. Count them all. Oh, oh wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
This is another Mario Party mini game. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh wait, I'm counting You have to count people. the angels. Oh The guys no. in black. Oh, I guess I'll just go for it. If you fail, you can always do journalist mode. All right. It's let's... just about showing the story. All right. One. Oh wait, do I press it? One. Yes. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you say 20. You were the closest. Well, me and that other guy were close. Does it count? Let's see if it counts. Hit the A button. It says you won, so that many games should be done. Well, well that was good luck. Yeah, good. I can't believe I actually did that. I'm usually not very good at those. I'm getting better. Well done, Gadget. Thanks to you, we were able to act. I don't know what their plan was, but you stopped it. Congratulations. Here, we found this part on one of the agents. Okay. So now, uh, there's just a few mini games left. One of four. So. Go, go, gadget roller skates. You were one over the mark. Go, go, gadget roller skates. Yep. Go, go, gadget on You won, the Sharon. Yep, it counts, Zoe. Oh, yeah. So, I won then. Even though I tied with the other AI person. It's okay. You still won. Thanks. The Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Have you seen any mad agents by any chance? I'm afraid they're targeting the museum's works. Don't worry. The works have been replaced with fakes to protect <laughs> them. Here, look inside. <laughs> I'm sure you can't tell the difference between real art and counterfeits. Oh, a challenge. That's a mission for Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Oh no, this is gonna be weird. Trust your sense as a detective. Choose a crate to find a work of art. Watch out for forgeries. The good, the mad, the ugly. How would... But how do you know? If you get a forgery, then what do you do with it? But I don't I think this is a chance thing. Man, that Inspector Gadget's neck looks weird when he peeks it out from under stuff. Alright, we're just gonna try it. I think Nintendo made a mistake on their website. This is a fifteenth minigame. They said there's sixteen minigames. I think there's at least twenty. I think they made a mess up. We got that one. Isn't this random, though? I think it is random. This is a real one. I don't really know. You can't really tell them. Oh, that's a forgery because that has a claw mark on it. Mm. But you won't know what one's what until... Yeah, you can't so tell. So this is, this is it's by chance. Random. Yeah, it's, it's another random minigame. It's just like the... Yeah, there was another random one. Honestly, as I could completely see myself playing this as a kid, <laughs> especially if this came out a long time ago when the Inspector Gadget game was around. Mm, they had Inspector Gadget games when I was a kid, but this wasn't uh, this wasn't possible. Like there was Inspector Gadget on the Super Nintendo. That was hard mm. though. That was a tough game. All right, he's gone. Oops. But I think this is random because there's no way you'd be able to tell. No, there is no like, way you can tell. There's no way. 
Oh gosh. Uh, Do your best, Amber. Well, I'm gonna go with this one. You're safe. All right, I'm safe for now. Let's see what this guy does. And see what the AI does. Maybe you'll get lucky. Well, I guess he's oh, gone. You win. Good, I win by default. Good job. I won by chance. Go, go, gadget luck. <laughs> yep. I didn't have to have Penny help me out because I had luck win. Yep. Um, Inspector Gadget actually does have pretty good luck. He always seems to win without trying. Well, he tries, but he doesn't. He does try, yeah. He tries, but he's just not very good at trying. Dun, dun. What luck, Brain? Uncle Gadget stopped the mad agents from stealing all the museum's works. And he also managed to get a bolt back. Hooray! Yay! Alright, so now there are only two mini games left, but I think Nintendo made a goof. I think there are 17 mini games in total. Mm. Unless this isn't a mini game, this is just a point of interest. Because these two would tell me these are mini games. Because that was a, that was the 15th mini game. Yeah, it's supposed to be the 16. Supposed, according to their official website, it's 16. Yeah. Well, maybe their official website is wrong. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Amber's favorite bit. <laughs> Gadget. He's in the fish thing. Oh, it's you, Chief. I didn't know you liked fishing. <laughs> He's not. Here. Yeah. Read he doesn't this. like fishing. He's on a mad phone. agent escaped with parts from the machine. Stop. Get as many back as you can. Stop. Go after him. Stop. Be careful of traps. Stop. This message will self-destruct. I'll go right away, Chief. <laughs> no! Gadget! <laughs> oh my gosh, again! Wow. Mm. Poor Chief! He's gonna have to go to the hospital. His face is all black and blue. Full of smoke. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, Amber hit. Avoid the obstacles with A. Alright, let's go for it. Let's see what you're able to do. If you fail, I'll try. Okay, I'm nice. So you collect those and you jump. There you go. Like, how do you come back down? Oh, just you, you let can... go of A. You hold on to A and then just stretch your legs out. Okay. <laughs> Oops. No, that wasn't a, anything you needed to pull out. That is. Good job. Those are all banana peels. There. Yep. You won. By a lot. Whoa. Good job. I did a good job. Thank you. You did. Yay! Inspector Gadget wins! Go, go, Gadget Legs! Hmm. Stretchy legs! My legs stretched abnormally wide. Because I'm not fully human. Wait, Inspector Gadget was in 1983? Really? Hmm. Cool, I have another cool show. I have He Man and there Inspector you go. Gadget. There you go. Well done, Gadget. I'm impressed. You did it. Here, these parts are yours. Okay, so then that just leaves this one place right here. Go, go, Let's we'll see what happens, gang. Will this be the end of the game? Or will the game continue? Maybe we have to fight the claw. I guess we'll find out. Oh, you're right on time, Gadget. I need you. There are more of the machine's parts scattered around here. Can you find them and bring them back to me? Seem like of course, the I'll get to it. Perfect. The perimeter will be sealed off so you can work in peace. Supposedly this is the final minigame, but okay. I don't know. Find them all! Um, how do I... I don't know. 
How do I do my- How is this guy doing his <laughs> How do I push the ski? <laughs> uh, I don't think you can. You saw somebody using the skates? I thought I did. There we go. There we go. Why both the skates? Alright, thank you. Find them all. What are we looking for? Uh, you're fine. Looking for whatever the things are on your map. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Okay, just go into the thing. Honey. Okay. Practice is unnecessary just for you to learn the controls. Okay. So you're looking for different parts each time. You have to find those three parts. I have to find the parts. That's not it. That's... <laughs> Oh, I have to find that You have to part, find that your part part and parts. That part. Your parts. Oh my god. Not the other player's parts. This one. That was one of yours. This is mine. There you go. You have to be the first one to find all your parts. <laughs> that is you. Okay. There you go. You're tied for first. That's not you. It's not? Okay, I need a green one. I need a green one. The caveman has your part. Wherever the caveman is. How do I get it from him? I don't... No, he can't pick it up. He was near it. Oh. But I mean, everything looks the same. That's... You already have that. Okay, somebody beat you. I don't know if I can do this one. I'll do this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm Penny. <laughs> That's a good thing, though. On the show, Penny's the smartest person there. I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> sort of. Hmm. Penny's the coolest character on the show. Hmm. Mm. Long loading time! Blast! There are still parts missing. Oh, you're right. Of course. Perfect. The perimeter will be stuck. Yeah, the perimeter will be stuck. Got it. Sorry. Yeah, and you can order stuff on your phone if you want. Um, all, right. all right, I need a yellow piece. That's not it. I don't need a light bulb. You need the yellow... There it is. ...spinning gear. You need the yellow handle. I need the green light bulb. <laughs> That's a blue light bulb. Mm, wait. Oh no, that's not. That's what a. No. That's not what you need. That's not, not it. Red, that's blue. I mean, some of this comes down to just bad luck, too. That's not it. That's not it. What is this? No, it's not yours. see a green light bulb, let me know. That's not it. It's not yours. That's not it. This is kind of annoying. Like, some of the mini games in this aren't very good. Oh, there you go. Now you just need the green light bulb. Okay, anybody see the green light bulb? Is this it? Yes. All right, we win. Sweet. Mm, almost missed it by that much. Now, Wowzers. see what happens now. Is that it? Is that game over? What's going on, Nintendo? Mm-hmm. Loading. Oh, the loading. keys for gadget. Well done, Inspector. I'm going back to the machine to continue fixing it. See you soon. I mean... Well, the game isn't over. Wowzers, my top secret gadget phone. Is that you, Chief? Where are you? On the roof of the laboratory? Good, I'll be right there. 
<laughs> the laboratory? Where's that? There's the pirate. So we haven't seen the knight at all. They had concept art for him, though. Go, go, gadget roller skates. Go, go, gadget copter. Oh. Yeah, this is the way to get the copter to work. Uh, actually, am I going to fall in the water? Or are they going to let me get out? I might have broke the game. Nope. We're okay. <laughs> Interesting. Go, go, gadget roller skates. They have flames on them? Oh my god. Yeah, they have flames. Wow. Almost there. That was one way to get back to the city, wasn't it? <laughs> it's the only way to travel, yeah. Luke. It looks like a ceiling fan. It kind of is. It's a propeller. Yep, it does look like a ceiling fan, Richard. Hi, Richard. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much. <laughs> mm, Daffy says, direct Inspector Gadget was directed by John Goodman, sister Marsha Goodman, Rob Kirkpatrick, Wally Burr, Luke and Amber. Thank you, Daffy. Appreciate that. Very cool. Go, go, gadget Daffy roller says, skates. Tess, Tesso, Tesso Ga Ganda is the Japanese voice of Inspector Gadget, who also plays Optimus Prime, Tiger, and Batman, Luke and Amber in Japan. Okay, go, thank you, go, Daffy. Gadget roller roller skates. I am home sick today, unfortunately, says Richard. Oh, sorry so to hear sorry that, to Richard. Sorry to hear that, Richard. And Richard also sent a, a time code for a short on, thank you, Richard. on Twitter. Thank you, Richard. So, thank you, Richard, and um, we hope you feel better soon. Hello, uh, Inspector. I'm undercover. Yeah, we'll be keeping you, our, ah, keeping you in our thoughts and prayers. Feel better. Go, go, gadget umbrella! Where's the, oh, it's not the chief. Nope. Gadget, there you are. Congratulations, you've done it again. You're really the best at all points in time. You foiled Mad's plans and found all the parts from the machine. Ha ha ha, Chief. You know me. I never do things by halves. Well done, Uncle Gadget. Now I'll fix the machine and send all the gadgets home. Darn you, Gadget. I'll get you next time. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. It should work, but nobody press the red button on the outside. <laughs> Have, Have a nice, a nice trip. trip. Good Goodbye. 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 Full Goodbye. game. Goodbye. 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 It was a close call, but everything is back to normal now. I guess that's it. Mm. Go, go, gadget ending. <laughs> Yay! That was go. fun. That's the full game. Or at least that's the full story. So there's 17 mini games, not 16. Interesting. They could have said over 15 mini games. You know, you should always take the time to listen to wise people's advice. Yes, you're right. You see, kids, you should always listen to what you're told before you do or use something because it saves a lot of trouble. I almost caused a time disaster. <laughs> and with that ladies and gentlemen another let's play is complete. complete join us later tonight for the finale of sonic adventure 2 yay it'll be happening around uh, a little past seven because we ran a little bit late with this one so yeah i mean this game has some issues on nintendo switch um but um you know if we can get things ironed out, I would be open to doing a mini game stream, like just showing all the mini games. The story doesn't take very long. Uh, some of the mini games have some issues. That's why we had some struggles. Like there is some frame rate concerns. So if the developer is listening to the stream, I would try to maybe get it to run a little bit better on the Switch, as well as um, some of the gameplay mechanics, like jumping in some of the mini games is a tad too slow, as well as the AI seems kind of invincible. Like, unless, you know, you're supposed to be, you know, getting us prepped for our AI overlords, then totally get that. But, um, 
you know. <laughs> they're they're a little bit too sharp. Yeah. But I mean, it was a great trip down uh, memory lane. Um, it's a really cool thing to see for uh, fans of Inf Inspector Gadget from the classic uh, '80s show. So that was a nice treat, and uh, I would have liked to see more of a car, but the actual Inspector Gadget car. But you know, it's pretty good. Yeah, totally, Luke. I had a lot of fun and. Doctor yeah. Claw, not voiced by Frank Weckler. <laughs> I knew it. Mm. I knew it. Yeah, it didn't sound quite like him. Yeah. Yep. And there's a special thanks. So I. Yeah, there we go. Inspector Gadget. Original theme, Inspector Gadget theme. I, I didn't hear the original theme. When did they play the original Inspector Gadget theme? I don't know. Maybe they played a tiny bit of it or something in the background at some point. That's a good question. And basically, I think it just starts you over again. But yeah, the game's over. So then you can go back and kind of explore the city or whatever. But we're not doing that. Yeah, I didn't really hear the theme very I didn't much. hear the theme very prominently, no. Mm. Unless it's at the beginning. Oh, it's kind of at the beginning, yeah. You can there hear you go, it a little bit. Alright guys and gals, rounds. thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on Sonic. Happy gaming. See ya!